yeah, we did it. We did it. We got affiliate. Honestly, like, uh, thank you guys so much for giving me the time of day and coming in and hanging out and subscribing. Like, uh, even just getting to the point where we have, like, an average of three viewers for a while is pretty fucking God. special. <laughs> And, and I super, super, super appreciate everybody who helped me get here, everybody who came out and, uh, and hung out all the time. Ash, you're here all the fucking time. Uh, I'm probably gonna, probably gonna make you a mod at some point. Because uh, now I, I seriously appreciate all you guys who, who come out here and join us all the time. Um, I have been super excited about getting affiliate because I've wanted to have some of the, like, toys and stuff that come with that for a long time. Specifically, uh, you can throw stuff at me now. <laughs> and honestly, uh, if there's one thing that I've wanted since, uh, I started streaming again, it's that. I, I just want people to be able to throw things at me. So I have that set up now, both as a... Uh, I mean, we'll find out creative things to do with it. I want to add, like, more shapes and more stuff to, like, add to it. But uh, for now, that <laughs> I've got it as a uh, as a couple of channel point redeems. Uh, and also in response to, like, subs and bits and stuff like that. And I may have to tweak it because uh, I just kind of, like, chose some values for it. And... I don't know if uh, it's probably fine for like the amount of traffic we get, but if I get like any like double digit number of people, it'll probably become untenable real fast and I'll have to, I'll have to start tweaking it. But yeah, uh, I'm excited to come up with more ideas for stuff to do with channel points. Um, like a lot of the, all the commands that I have right now are staying at least for now, obviously like if, if the chat gets more crowded, that could also be something I have to tweak. Uh, that's fine for now. I'm not going to change anything. I'm not going to make any emotes exclusive or make any commands like points redeems that aren't already, uh, that are already free right now. Everything's going to stay how it is there. But I am totally going to add new stuff uh, for points redeems. Uh, as always, emotes are all available on 7TV. But now we have a few slots, only a few, we have like five slots, um, that we can get as sub emotes. I just picked a few of the most like important ones. And really the only benefit to doing that right now is obviously like supporting me is appreciated, but you don't have to. Uh, you can still use all those emotes here, just no problem. Uh, but that will let them, uh, will let you use them other places. So other channels can see my, uh, horrible art skills <laughs> what <laughs> ash holy shit thank you so much what the fuck oh that's the kappa gen okay uh that's weird i removed that emote already unless it didn't take oh well um oh what okay here i'll fix that in a minute but holy shit ash thank you so much enjoy the uh enjoy the fucking founder badge you you were here I seriously, uh, seriously appreciate that. Honestly, I could, it means a lot uh, that you'd be willing to, to throw down actual real money <laughs> to to, to, uh, to support me. Uh, oh wait, okay, yeah, that emote is showing up fine. So why is the Kappa Gen? It's weird, on my, on my screen, I just see this, which genuinely should not be on the list anymore. Hold on, I'm gonna look at the channel real quick. Oh fuck you! <laughs> uh, All right, fifteen. Not as late as I thought, but oh, still yeah. kind of happened. What did I miss? Uh, nothing. We have uh, we have two subscribers now, Hoko and Ash. Uh, oh, nice. And, uh, thank you so much again, Ash. Uh, also, tell me if Kit is too loud or too quiet, because I'm using a different, uh, a different input for kit wait kit say something real quick hi okay yeah, yeah. You're, you're pretty loud i might actually have to turn you down a little bit that's fine let's see yo 
Ash, like, that's crazy, because, like, you and... You and Iguana were, like, the first two people who really, like, who came to my channel and actually came back. Uh, Because I remember y'all y'all been here since Rock Raiders, which is insane. That feels like such a long time ago now. I feel like at least one of you was here since, like, Eraser's 2. I'm trying... Yeah, Ash, were you here for for LEGO Racers 2? I remember you are here for Rock Raiders. But I'm, I'm trying to remember if... I'm trying to remember if we had anybody when we were doing the LEGO Racers with Morbius. Okay, yeah, so Ash joined with... Uh, yeah, so Ash joined with Rock Raiders. Yeah, also... Oh, man, did that... Oh, I didn't. I didn't even like. I was so taken aback. I wasn't even paying attention. Did stuff? Did stuff get dropped on my head with that sub? Uh, if not, I'll I'll fucking drop it myself. I swear to God, I will <laughs> pelt myself with objects for your entertainment. How do I pelt you with objects? Uh, it's in the channel points. Um, ah. Hmm. I was <laughs> looking at LGBTQ streamers see Rock Raiders, and I'm like, whoa, I remember that. And then you had crystals on your ears. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Hell uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's very so watch out for that. <laughs> Thanks for warning me. You're a little late. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I could stall for ages just fucking around with this. Um, oh, also... But sadly, I don't have... So... On the Skeleton Cult channel, I've been building up an absurd amount of channel points. I'm gonna do that here so that one day I can hit you with fucking orbital bombardments worth of random objects. I, sh I guess I could make a bigger, like, redeem that's just, like, drop a shitload of stuff on me. Currently, don't don't tell anybody. I, the only way, uh, I don't, I don't think people... Ash, control yourself. I don't think anyone is going to come to my stream and, like, buy a bunch of bits or anything. Uh, I did not put a maximum on bits. So if somebody gave me, like, $10, I would get just fucking, like, exploded into the sun. Uh, so, but aside from that, I, I have it set to do like gift subs and stuff. Um, I think gift subs is supposed to throw five per gift sub, but I, I need to like troubleshoot and like make sure that everything is working properly. Ooh, you can see my mouse. Um, Cause I'm still very new to the software. I was literally setting it up uh, very on brand for me, setting up <laughs> this software into the like last like minute as we were finishing up uh, getting ready for stream. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Well, yeah, I've, I've been wanting to having a, or I've been wanting to set it up for so long. So I'm, I, I wanted to make sure it was like perfect, like ready for my first affiliate stream. If you have to watch uh, an yeah. ad, you at least deserve to throw something at me for having to watch an ad. I did have to watch an ad, but I'm in Discord, so. <laughs> what do you use for this? Or stuff redeem. Oh, sorry. Um, no, yeah, you're yeah, you've you've got the fucking backstage pass. Uh, <laughs> um, I use so I actually I was testing out two programs today, which is one of the reasons that it took up until the last second. Um, the first thing I tried was called Tifa, uh, and it was Twitch integration for avatars. That one is interesting because. It's like an actual Unity program that plugs into VC Face, and it has it's pretty limited, but it's free, um, and you can throw like a few specific objects, uh, and it has like realistic collision and stuff. That's the only upside, or the the fact that it's free and the physics. The downsides are you have to stream it as your source instead of VC face, which means I wouldn't be able to do like, you know, this, my props, um, which, oops, hold on, I gotta, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do my props, which I love doing so much. And I wouldn't be able to have my like preset scenes that are also very important to me. Um, because it basically, it's like another layer that you, or it's like a, sorry, it, it's like your, fuck. 
it is the source you're using. It kind of replaces VC face to a certain extent as far as OBS is concerned. So, um, fuck, where did I staple this? This needs to be on my face. There we go. Um, sorry, getting sidetracked. The one that I use now is called Tits. Not really, it's a Twitch integration, Twitch integrated throwing system. Or you can tell when people have fun with acronyms. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that one gives you a lot more flexibility. I can actually show it to you, sort of, if I turn this on. So this is how it looks. It gives you, like, an overlay. Uh, and it's instead of streaming it instead of VC face, it's another layer that you kind of put over it. And for each scene, you basically control where the bounding box for the throne object is. And you can actually set the hotkeys to the same extent that you can in VC face. So I just have all the hotkeys for these, like the same as uh, my VC face hotkeys. So it just changes whenever I hit those. So now if I'm like, you know, here, I can throw stuff. Uh, and then if I go over there, it like changes the box. I have a story with a time machine called the Temporal Travel Immersion System. <laughs> Amazing. I do love weird science acronyms. I need to make more stupid acronyms. I mean, uh, I, yeah, like you're an SCP reader, so I imagine you'd make plenty. Um, I am. I, I At this point, at a moment's notice, I can spot... SCP acronyms or things that could be turned into SCP acronyms. Oh my god. <laughs> but a so, yeah. short version, uh, yeah, this is like an overlay. Uh, it's pretty simple to set up. It's $15, so it's not free like the other one, but I think this one is far, 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 far more flexible. Um, also, you can upload custom models, so that's pretty rad. Not only 3D models, but also PNGs. So you could just have like images that you throw. Uh, I think you might, yeah, you can also do sound effects, which I'm 100% gonna fuck with as well. So yeah, that's that's pretty exciting. So I'm enjoying this one so far. I think it's worth the 15 bucks for sure. Uh, also, the other one is no longer in active development. So tits is the way to go. Yeah, yeah I, I was explaining this excitedly to some friends in a in a stream discord earlier and i literally just googled tits and i was like i don't know why that was gonna work why i thought that was gonna work <laughs> like, i i did not think that one through at all um <laughs> so yeah that's uh that that's how my afternoon went but yeah so I'm I'm excited to mess around with this more and do more unhinged stuff with it and come up with oh you can also it's very you can get very customizable with it uh, one thing I've seen a lot of people do is you can customize the types of objects that are thrown based on certain triggers so you can set like um, if you want to like have it for bits you can customize it so that little bits icons are thrown instead of um, like just random junk. Yeah, so like that's that's one of the things that I've been most excited about. Uh, I was in one, one stream a long time ago where the streamer, I guess it wasn't that long, it was like a few months, but the streamer was, uh, was asking for sound effect and PNG ideas and the users got to like submit ideas for like stuff to throw. Um, See, so yeah, I think just the ability to do stuff like that is super fun. I could maybe even like theme it with certain games or something like that. Like that's I, I'm excited to like mess with it. Um, so on top of that, um, I think that's most of the news for today. So uh, hell yeah, we got affiliate. Hell yeah, trying to give you guys some fun stuff to play with. As big thanks for that. Again, I am humbled at the fact that any number of people would want to come and hang out and watch me fucking play around in video games. I have been doing nothing but this for like a year. God. 
Okay. <laughs> Honestly, true. Yeah, Kit has been suffering through my my stream for uh, me streaming to her personally for ages. You've <laughs> also been suffering from me though, so it kind of evens out. That's true. You did show me other M, so technically you're you're like in debt to me. <laughs> I'll fucking do it again. No, I won't. <laughs> fucking goofy. I'll, I'll fucking do it again. One VTuber has a redeem for suggest a throwable, and one of them is literally another VTuber. That's such a great idea. Honestly, for anybody that I like collab with, I can uh, I could maybe do that. I can think of a few people that wouldn't mind being in my throwables list. I did say other M. Ash. <laughs> it's the Kit Holiday Special, not Holiday Halloween Special. Um. Yeah. Yeah, Kit. Uh... To, to put it in her words, I wanted to do something scary for Halloween, and what could possibly be scarier than Other M? <laughs> um, God, speaking of the holiday special, hey, one one quick, uh, one last. We're quick... not watching the Star Wars holiday special. No, but this is about that. Um, one one more like self indulgent tangent before we fucking actually play video game. I say the baby like Samus without context. Kid sent me a soundbite of Samus saying "Among Us," and I'm still I'll tempted send it to you again so you can add it. Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah, I should I should add it to stream. I uh, I was tempted to set it up as my alarm because when I set it as an alarm, it just put it on repeat, and it was like a one second soundbite. So it was just "Among Us," "Among Us," "Among Us," "Among Us," "Among Us," "Among Us." It's like, okay, <laughs> this is god-awful. I love it. This, um, yeah. And yeah, once again, everyone, give me awful sound redeems to grab. <laughs> I will do it. Yeah, I, I'm always thinking of, I'm still very uh, pleased with Lord Fug. That's my, my newest and proudest achievement, even though it's the simplest, one of the simplest redeems on my list. Um, right, um, my self-indulgent tangent, though, before we get into video game. So, I watched the Star Wars Holiday Special with my friends last year, and I think we got about 45 minutes in, and my nose started bleeding. That's not a thing that normally happens to me. Uh, the holiday special actually, like, made an attempt on my life. Yeah, Ash, but does my instance have monsoon's income? True. I also get a lot of mine from my instance. It's very, very handy. Just people doing the work for me. Um, <laughs> fucking... Yeah. So I made it about 20 minutes into the holiday special. And then I gave up. I watched the whole thing, but I was with my pals, so that helps. Yeah. Um, um, which I think is still slightly longer than I made it into Morbius. Oh, God, um, fair. I heard Morbius is, like, not even entertaining, just bad. Uh, it's cause, just bad. Because Holiday Special had some great moments. Honestly, I, I enjoyed watching uh, the Wookiee Grandpa watch vr porn that was pretty oh incredible uh the animated segment actually was pretty cool i watched that one just independently of the holiday special yeah i know people say that's the high point i think wookie vr porn was the high point we can disagree oh on God. that <laughs> we can agree to disagree are you into wookie vr porn uh i'm into pleading the fifth um <laughs> so the only other thing that's worth mentioning that i've changed for this stream that I definitely want feedback on. Um, I have decided to be a professional in two ways. Uh, my friend said, hey, Emmy, you should maybe put a fucking limiter on your microphone. So now if I like unconsciously, I have a bad habit of like leaning forward into my mic uh, as I play, just because I do the, the gamer lean in. But uh, I put a limiter on there, so now if I, like, yell or something, hopefully that'll, you know, make it not painful for you guys. Uh, the I'll other see. thing... Yeah, we will see. I put one on yours, too, but I still have to figure out what level is, is good for you. 
Um, I don't scream that often. Yeah, you're usually pretty quiet, but it's it's just for like Discord in general. Yeah. Uh, the only other thing that's different is I have decided to wear headphones today, which I have not been doing because comfy. I, I like just, you know, having the freedom to sit back with my speakers and not have something on my ears. Um, but today I have decided to put headphones on. So let me know if that's better. That should prevent a lot of the echoes that may have been coming through previously. So uh, if my ears start to hurt, I might, you know, swap back to speakers. Uh, obviously, if we're ever doing any longer streams, I don't know, it's a possibility. Uh, I may just take them off after a while, but, you know, for now, I'm definitely gonna, definitely gonna just try this out, and the sound quality should be a little better for you guys. Welcome, Bob. Welcome, Hello. welcome. We got, uh, we got affiliate today, thanks to you guys. And I was, uh, humbling myself before everyone, and, uh, also letting you know that you can throw things at me now. That is my personal. And I did. That is my personal thanks to you guys. Is uh, for all of your hard work and dedication in, in hanging out with us on this channel. Now you can throw shit at me. <laughs> so yeah, enjoy that. I hope it's fun. Uh, but uh, I've been stalling for like thirty minutes. So let's fire up the game, and you guys can tell me if the if the audio is noticeably better without all the, uh, without any of the echoes from before. This also means I can probably put my mic further up and just scoot up a little, because now I don't have to worry about it catching my speakers. Up. Can also have a little bit more free control over the sound, since again, man, I should have just been wearing headphones this whole time, huh? I've had them the whole time. I've just been too stubborn to wear them. Okay, so the helmet looks really good from the front, but when you turn your head to the side, it's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so remember how I said I didn't put a limiter on the bits one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I may have to, that way. I may have to, some, most people, <laughs> oh, that's how that works. Well, you can also do it with channel points. Uh, you can like throw single items through channel points, but if you give me money, you get to throw away more. <laughs> Currently there is one for every bit. Um, I know most people for bits, they'll, they won't do the bits one until you cheer like 50 or a hundred, just so people can't like throw pennies at me. Uh, but I figure, what the fuck, you know, for at least for today, we're celebrating affiliate. Uh, you guys can throw pennies at me if you want. <laughs> yeah, I was just talking about how, um, one day, I, uh, like, I'm gonna try to build up an absurd amount of channel points <laughs> so I can just nonstop throw things the whole stream one day. You will crash the program. <laughs> I wanna... <laughs> See, I have a little bit of blender skill. <laughs> I have a little bit of blender skill. Oh, we can see my, uh, I have alerts for, for cheering and stuff that we didn't get to see until now. Now that I have affiliate, you can see the full power of the shitty PNGs that I've decided to reuse. <laughs> um, so, uh, my brain turned off mid-sentence. Since I have a little bit of Blender experience, I'm, I might see if I can make, you know, some custom items. Yeah, uh, Iguana, Ash gave you a, a subscription for, uh, before he got here. Yeah, and I was, uh, I was talking to Ash about y'all were my two, like, most long-time viewers, because y'all were both here for Rock Raiders. You've been here pretty much the whole time. Uh, so, yeah, thank you both so much for that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, y'all have been showing up just about since started on Twitch. Yeah, genuinely. Like, I only got through, I mean, really, we did, 
Lego Island 1 and 2. We did those both in one stream. We did Lego Racers in one stream. So really, that was like stream number 3 or something. It's actually, it feels kind of insane. Uh, huh? Watch out I'm for what? Gonna... Do we even have those first few strands? Did we have what? Oh, fuck! I'm trying to go back and find uh, parts of. Uh, Holy shit! Ah! Fuck! You see now why I. Oh said. my god! <laughs> okay, today I learned that 500 is a pretty big number. <laughs> oh my god. Um, also, you guys let me know if the, if the like, throwing sound is too loud, because uh, I can turn that down for you guys. <laughs> it's a good thing you're wearing a helmet. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I might have like a minor case of serious brain damage. Oh my god. Alright, I've got a mild concussion now, and now I have to remember what we were doing last. Oh! Hold on. Let me fucking. Uh... Last time, I think we talked to December? Right, December got fucking assassinated by January. Bop. Deleted. And I got my shotgun shell back. Right, so we came back from... Because we did pretty much all of Psychotronics. We came back. Uh, we did... Right, we did Neuromod Division. We went and looked for the escape pod key. Um, and... Uh, and it was gone. And then... January or December was there to give us like further instructions and then got killed by January. So I think January is kind of sus. Uh, honestly, I don't know if if we are responsible for them like we thought we were. So where were we gonna go next? I guess. Hold on. Oh right, guts. We were gonna go to guts. The fucking uh, the elevator thing. I think that's our main thing right now. Yeah, access guts. Uh, Alex's office safe. Arboretum, arboreto, arboretum. Uh, exotic material storage. All oh, right, and that's in psychotronics. All right, we're going back to psychotronics. Um, do we want to go through psychotronics or do we want to just? go outside. I kind of... I wish I had a closer airlock. We're just going to go through hardware, because we just went through hardware. Hopefully it's still clear. So let's just run our asses back up. Also, how many Neuromods do I have? Ooh! I forgot I had four Neuromods. Let's see. Um... Oh yeah, uh, we kind of decided last stream, um, so we can get we can start to get alien abilities, but they come at the cost of potentially turning station security against you. I was content just going big gun, uh, fuck everything, but I figured I'd to some extent let chat decide my fate. Although I might get this sneak attack. So we can, uh, so we can really start to fuck dudes up. Uh, oh wait, or we could save up for repair three. I'm just gonna save up for now, I think. Let's just run back to hardware labs. No, I just came from here. Alright, so we're gonna 
dunk ourselves out into space and just go over to like the next uh next fucking airlock over and that'll put us right back at the end of psychotronics and we can access the uh exotic material storage from uh from before that we couldn't get into Please tell me that everything has an oh everything totally has respawned. Alright, that's fine. Oop. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, you coward? Can't hide from me. Oh. He went to hell. It's okay. He'll have company soon. Oh my god. Ooh, more operators. Freeze! Ooh, another one. Alright. They have been dealt with. We got another etheric phantom in here. What if I just kind of... Oh, I forgot I should probably... Oh! Come on. Okay, good. Now... Ow! Alright, sick. Where's my fucking... Okay, I hear him. He's, like, right over there. Let me loot him, dude. Why can't I loot him? Oh, here it is. Okay. Fix my suit. Fix my suit. Alright, now... Gonna see if I can make a little bit more pistol ammo before we go. Fuck! There we go. Oh, shit, we need a little bit more mineral. Do I have any trash I can put in here? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh, that might not be enough. No, it's not. That's okay. We'll make do with what we've got. What's this? Oh wait, there's some stuff up here. Oh wait, there's a lot of stuff up here. Bunch of fucking bourbon. Clive was here. Thanks, Clive. You will be remembered. I think I saw some materials. Yeah. Oh, that might be enough to make our bullets. Yeah, could you start the Discord stream so I can, um, oh, have shit. some? Oh, yeah, shit. I was forgetting something. It's okay, I also forgot. Bop. Thank you. And, oh yeah, I can't pull my... Pull that back up. I'll just put that over there. And, okay, hold on. Sorry. I'm more used to looking at that side. Yeah, okay, now we can totally make these. Don't want to run out of ammo again, that, that sucked. And did we find any... No, no weapon upgrade kits. Alright, let's get out of here. Talos is home to hundreds of the world's best scientists and innovators, and now they're either possessed or dead.
Microgravity detected. All right, put me outside. All right, now this is a little bit more convenient than going through psychotronics, I think. Oh, um, since both of you asked me about the guy floating out in space, there he is from the promo image today. <laughs> it's that guy. He got decompressed out of the station. He's probably fine. Okay, what is this? Oh, okay. It's garbage, that's what. Oh, the cargo bay is right down there. If I could actually, like, come in from the outside. He'll pull through if he holds his breath. Yeah, that's the spirit. <laughs> just a little longer, Carl. We'll come and get you. Just, just hold out a bit longer. I know you got that long capacity. Carl is a professional swimmer. Secretly launch a deep space probe named Verona 1. That's just styling on the Americans. Just, hey, we launched our first, like, little orbital, like, probe. I'm like, all right, we're shooting stuff into deep space. Get on my level. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and we're back. Now, on our last spacewalk, I believe we opened the door that was inaccessible last time. Hello, nice to see you. Wait, oh, there you are. Hold on, heal me. Uh, the other benefit uh, of me wearing headphones for you guys is now if anything scary happens, I will probably be much more scared because now it's in my ears. Still doing good turret, buddy. That's good. Dr. Yu. You probably didn't see me there. This guy's still just hanging out in here. Headphones, you say? <laughs> no! That's mean. That's mean. <laughs> oh. Peekaboo. All right, I think, I think there's gonna be a ton of mimics in here because the last time we looked at this door, there were five million of them all like pressed up against the door, jumping around and shit. That made me jump before, but one was a knock on my left and there's a wall on my left, so I about shit. <laughs> Yeah, if, if the surround sound works just right to, like, match your environment, that's the worst. Oh! Wait, you missed! Little fucker hit the door frame. I'm gonna go TP Alex's office. Alright, we've got. Ooh, wait, there's a ton of Typhon organs in here. There's also a ton of exotic material up here. Just waiting for me. Free Neuromods for later, although at this point. The bottleneck for us making more neuromods is or are probably minerals. I think our bottleneck for making anything is minerals. Itchy eye, hold on. Hoko! Welcome! Hoko, I figured it out. You can throw things at me. <laughs> Thank you so much! And congrats on your fucking founder badge. Congrats on being my first sub, you fucking you fucking gremlin. <laughs> Seriously, I, I appreciate it so much. It definitely, it really means a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I've got it set up right now to where you can do it with channel points, you can do it with subs, and you can do it with bits. And I need to turn down bits because it's really scary right now. <laughs> I keep saying don't because it's subjectively hilarious. <laughs> it is hilarious, but... I mean, I... Oh my god. <laughs> I it is, a, it is definitely a good reward for people throwing money at me. It's just me getting pelted with pennies, basically. Oh, so yeah, Hoko, I will, I will 100% show you. Bro, are you not going to take these guns? Listen, you run into any other fellas wearing a green jumpsuit? Watch your ass. Well, they ain't all decent human beings like me. Sir, do you mean that literally? <laughs> I mean... I mean... Yeah... I almost did 1,000. I would scream. <laughs> I would actually scream. Honestly, like, if you throw me 10 whole dollars, you deserve to see me get pelted with weird objects. Now, save that for when I find more interesting things for you to throw. I need to, I need to take some suggestions. Uh, I'll try to think of anything good. Uh, you already know my first suggestion. Uh, helicopters? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one was obvious. Oh, so yeah, Hoko, okay, sorry, I totally got sidetracked. I will 100% show you how to how to set this up afterwards. Um, uh, cause yeah, it turns out tits is the, tits is the more effective one to set up. The other one is pretty limited. When you get Twitch partner, 10,000 bits coming at you, I will, like, hopefully, I mean, it'd be nice to get Twitch partner soon, but hopefully if I get Twitch partner, I'll be in the position where I can, like, shriek without scaring my neighbors. <laughs> right now I'm in an apartment. I can't, like, comically scream too loud because otherwise I'll keep people up. <laughs> okay, new area. We're about to get up in them guts, metaphorically. No, I will not be taking questions at this time. Let's see, new recycler, new note. Laurel, there comes a time in every man's life when he looks towards the future. Our future, Racer Marks. <laughs> Laurel, would you do me the honor of accepting this proposition of affection? No, <laughs> that's like the most neckbeard thing I've ever read. Laro eraser marks. I don't even know. I don't want to know what he said there. That's probably really bad. God, yeah. Oh, man. Wait, email. From Clive uh, Lawrence, the guy who made the... Okay, now we're good. Uh, <laughs> Clive Lawrence to Eric Berger. Hey, Mr. Berger. Got subsection 19. The electric fault is still an issue. When will re the replacement electrical components be available so I could finally get this repair underway? You understand I cannot leave this subsection offline at all times. Meanwhile, having to navigate around fan vents is not ideal. Yeah, it's so weird. Some Fox girl keeps stealing all her electrical components. Yeah, who could that be? <laughs> All right, I think we've gotten everything down here. Oh, okay. I didn't think that would break. Good job. <laughs> it's okay, we couldn't see anything on it anyway. Whoa, okay. This is a little trippy. Oh, wait, there he is. It's Eric Berger. Oh, we got the fabrication plan for EMPs. Sick. These tunnels run the entire length of the station. Ayo. Hey, Mostly conduit carrying the bare necessities. Power, water, air. But operators also use it to deliver supplies from the cargo bay up to the Arboretum. Given the small number of crew assigned here, I would expect Typhon presence to be minimal as well. Pog? Aw, oh, come on. Don't tease me like that. 
Yo, guys, we're up in the station's guts. Hell yeah. Wait, give me that. Wait, can I not? Oh, okay, there we go. I'm sure that'll have no long-lasting consequences. Bonk. got here. Reminds me of Dead Space. Reminds me of where I got stuck in Dead Space. To me, it reminds me a lot of some of the bigger wrecks in Subnautica. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mission dampening. Alright, I can just, like, carry big stuff out here. Because space. That might be one I need to replay, honestly. It's a good game. What, Subnautica? Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. I had a lot of fun with it. The only, I think the, the only thing I generally on a on a wide level didn't like about it was the, uh, the on foot segments made it painfully clear that the entire rendering engine was made for rendering underwater areas. Yeah. Um, and then there's that one time that I got glitched and it all it almost like soft locked me, but, uh, but I fixed it. Still mildly terrifying though. Ooh, ooh. More free stuff. Gimme, gimme. I've gotta just pack rat grab every like piece of tiny garbage that I see out here. Oh, what the fuck is that? What are those? What was any of that? All right, well, we just watched an operator get fucking ganked. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Psychoscope. Show me. What? There we go. Ew. Sister. Oh, shit, missed. I bet if you break that, a boss will come out. Okay, yeah, either that or a bunch of those little... Little... Fuckers. Oh, I was just making oh, calamity man. joke. Oh, wait. Oh, my pistol accuracy is just fine, actually. Oh, oh, yep, little fuckers, confirmed. Oop. Wait, oh, fuck, hold on. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Okay, I need one more scan on that. Just fucking oh. Fuck you. What kind of loot do they have? What? I don't get any loot from those? What a rip. Wait, are there any more cystoids that I can fucking scan? Nah. Come on. There we go. Nothing. Okay. Any more garbage for me in here? Wait, am I upside down? <laughs> Let's see. Guess I'll flip myself. Ooh, what's up here? I guess we can loot the operator kind of worth. It's just Q-beam cells, though, and we kind of don't really use the Q-beam. I don't know why I've, like, picked up this game that lets you use, like, all manner of weird, exotic, like, tech weapons and, like, train yourself with magic alien abilities, and I'm, like... Nah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna spec 100% into gun. 
Yeah. I think you were the one who invented, uh, check out my 50 hit combo. Uh, I don't think so. Wait, with regards to what? Wait, okay, no, no, it was not you. Anyway, one of my other friends, uh, Edwin Point, and this is just a phrase that I still like really. Check out my 50 hit combo. It's called I shoot you 50 times. God, honestly. Or check out my 50 hit combo. It's called I'm gonna blast you with this shotgun at point blank. Pew pew. Literally, I like, I've put all my materials into upgrade kits and just upgraded my pistol all the yes, way. Yes, I'm sure you'd like to put material to an upgrade kit. Kit. Shut up. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. Pew. Okay, wait, can I? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Nailed it. And scannable powers kinetic blast. Don't we have that one? Wait, what was their weakness? Oh, weakness none. Immunity none. Okay, dude. Um. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, what if I just kind of? Did that work? Like at all? Oh shit. We are so gonna get radiation poisoning. I'm not seeing a lot of stuff to pick up in here. Kind of feels like we're just gonna. We're meant to just kind of pass on through. Whoops. There are a lot of these nests in here, though. There we go. Oh, fucker. Oop, there's another nest. Ooh, wait. Corpse. Don't forget to lock the door on your way out. The code is 5831. Pog. works for me. You know, I guess since we're not specking super hard into abilities, we could melt down a lot of the Psy Hypos that we found. That hopefully yield some good materials we could use for other stuff. Pew, pew. Oh wait, I forgot igniting doesn't really help with these guys, it just kind of makes them worse. All right, let's just go. Let's just go. Five, eight, three, one. Nice. Oh, man. Okay. So it's gonna be like that. There's just a butt ton of these guys. I wonder if the solution is to just not shoot the nests simply. But I am here to kick ass and chew bubblegum and destroy shape shifting aliens. Oh, holy fuck. It 
So like, in what planet do I come here and not simply shoot everything that I see? Not this one, that's for sure. These guys really contain nothing of value though. I burned through a lot of ammo. like to know where that radiation is coming from. So I'm getting a little bit radiated here. I did not come here to fucking float through a microwave. Wait, oops. Yeah, well, maybe. Hideo Kojima designed this hallway. Maybe, that's true. Hideo Kojima is notorious for the microwave hallway. I wonder... I see a vent with stuff in it behind this fan. Do you think we can just kind of... Oops. No, bad. Alright, what if I just kind of roll up... To this fan. No, I guess we do have to turn the fan off, because I can't... Ow! Alright. I give up. I thought it was a genius idea. I thought I was, like, five-heading it. Oh, that's just outside. Okay. Ooh, there's parts down here. Can I get through here somehow? Oh, yeah, I can. Literally right under me. Nice. More metal. Can always use more metal. Ooh, more radiation. We're probably just going to have to sail through the radiation. I don't see anything at the moment that I can just turn off. Wait, are these guys the source of the radiation? Oh. <coughs> okay, now I get it. You're the radiated bug things. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, that's all my pistol ammo. That sucks. Hey, we played Metroid Prime. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time oh, I've experienced little irradiated bug things. I feel like this isn't going to work on these guys, but it's worth a try, right? Okay, yeah, that's not working at all. Little radiation never killed nobody. That's true. Just suck it up. Just suck it up. Take my daily rads. You know, I kind of want to just fix that, instead of letting it zap me in the ass later. If only because this area mildly inconveniences me. Alright, yeah, that's free as fuck to repair. Pop! And it's good. We are the best. Nothing really specific here, aside from the convenience, though. Cool. Yay, friendly operator. And more metal parts. Good, 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 good. Ah! Alright. I have learned that getting zapped is not ideal. Morgan, steady. That pulse hit your suit systems pretty hard. It came from the substation ahead. 
Oh, There's great. No okay. Around Talos one that keeps the sun from cooking your insides. Uh huh. Hopefully the generator isn't dying. Hopefully. For your sake, I'll be fine. Wow, thanks, January. Fucker. Where did you get all those spare parts? Uh, you know, the ground and dead bodies and dead robots, vending machines, suitcases, personal belongings, safes, bank accounts. You know, just normal places. And apparently in grates under the floor. Same place I get all my neat stuff. See? Bob gets it. Hopefully I can scrounge up enough materials to make a few more neuromods, because then I could give myself repair three, and even if this substation is about to fucking explode, I could still fix it. Hey you, fix my suit. Watch out, inspector. What do you mean, watch out? You ran into me. Nice. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, the magnetosphere is through here. Well, hey, let's check it out. Magneto. Let's just show ourselves inside, huh? Getting in there from here. Dang, glue is not waterproof. Yeah, that looks fine. Hey, buddy. You all right in there? I don't think he's all right. Alley. -oop. Why is my first instinct here that this is going to be like a uh like a Metroid Fusion power core moment? Well, so I'm just going to Just upgrade my little shotgun real quick. Uh, right. probably record. Wait, what? Warning, seek right, shelter. Saying, this is gonna be a Metro Fusion Power Car moment. Five, um, four, that three, would kind of require two, us to know where it is. Oh, it's right there. Okay, fuck. Okay. I, judging by the dead guy in the chamber, I would assume that if that happens while I'm in there, I probably get toasted. Absolutely. But yeah, if this ends up being a fusion power core moment, um, like, because the fusion power core thing was just basically clean out the fan. That well, was the objective. I mean the one where, uh, where it was like the guy... The fucking ex uh, mimicking yeah. the guy. Yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah. Literally just turned off the cooling unit. Seek shelter. Seek uh, shelter. Oh, wait. Oh, we've read this one. We've read my enemy's enemy's enemy. Yeah. Her fingers um, ached from all the choking. <laughs> I do think, though, it might be a Metroid Dread power core moment. Oh. There's just like something big living in the reactor. Also possible. Excerpt from the article Sizzle Report by Layla Sky. Antonia Frolica, or Frolka, star of the summer blockbuster Transgressions, did all of his own death defying stunts in the film. This eccentric A lister has played the action star in a dozen films and now, after a long hiatus, has returned in better form than ever. Witness Frolka swinging from a crane in our exclusive teaser clips online.
Folka has been seen cavorting with the stunning Cindy Sinclair. More in this edition. Ten celebs that defy aging. Vacation in space. 2031 Real Awards nominees. Gary Lee snubbed. Rising Stars interviews Transgressions newcomer Will Richson. This book is like four years old. There is like a fucking anomalous number of baseball gloves on this on this space station. Like where do I find the fucking the fucking uh hmm. Where do I find the fucking baseball diamond on board the station? Warning. Shelter, plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, these things. Ah! Oh, get away from me! All right, well, I was able to tank that mostly without issue. I hope there's a fucking recycler up here somewhere. Here's some stuff I desperately need. Alley. -oop. This game map is wild, I love it. Yeah, it's there is, it feels a lot like Bioshock to me, like very similar to, ow, feels very similar to how Rapture felt to me, just like in space. All right, I'm gonna run down and loot this dude real quick. Hey buddy. Ooh, he had some Neuromonts. Is there somewhere else up here I can go or is it just that one passage? Looks like just that one passage. So let's get the hell away from this thing before it zaps us to death. Alright, let's see. That bumped us up to six Neuromonts. And let me just check the area map. Okay, yeah, we're not... We're not missing anything. Okay, this is just the whole map of guts. So we're actually almost there. We'll just chill in here for another second, huh? Ow. Okay. Time to go. Oh, ow. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Alright. Uh, snacks, snacks, snacks. Uh, and some bourbon. All right, I'm ready to go to war. Oh, fuck's sake, all right. Oh. All right, we did those guys in. We did them in good. Time to go. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in. Five. Wait, hold on. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, well, there goes that guess. I think that might just be. That might just be a mimic angle. I don't see any other way in other than shape shifting. Ooh, didn't even notice that was a crate. All right, goodbye. I think we're almost out of this place. Nice, nice. Eos, 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 eos. All right, we are so full of eels, there's no way we could possibly... Oh, no. All right. 
Um, where? Oh, it's outside. Okay. Yeah, so there's a fucking Technopath outside. Fuck that. I don't have the ammo to deal with that right now. That is a certified boss battle. Absolute mess of a creature. Laurel, I hope you like the flowers. Next time we meet down here, let's wait until we're out of microgravity before opening the champagne. Or not. This is the guy who couldn't figure out how to fucking uh, write his note. Well, luckily, he's out there, and we're in here. So... I, I think we're good for now. Oops. Ooh. Cool. Tea, cookies, banana peel. Does that mean all the water droplets floating around out here are fucking champagne? Can I shorp? Alright, I think that's everything. Unless there's anything down here. I am ready to get back into <laughs> normal gravity now, though. Not in a place that's actively trying to bake me. See Anders Kine in the magnetosphere control room. Yeah, I think we did already. This place keeps flipping on me. Aw, oh, shit. I think there's a nest in here. And... Oh. Don't let them do this to you. Did the Typhon just give us a vision? Let's keep poking around. I feel like we're gonna run into a weaver in here. appears to be centered around the creation of this substance. Mm -hmm. The original researchers called it coral. Beautiful. But we're not and sure what its purpose is. It's never I spread outside the containment away. cylinder. Until now. It's come. Shiny. <laughs> Golden nut. I feel like I probably should avoid getting hit by those. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. You know, having no bullets kind of sucks ass. Not the radiation. Or cum. <laughs> Now that come specifically is supposed to be red because it's monsoon. Oh my god. Is this red to y'all? This is orange. Or like yellow. Yeah, no, that that is yellow. Um Nice, free recycler charge. Come on, gimme a recycler. Gimme a fabricator. Oh, fuck. Oh. Hey, buddy, you gonna let me scan you? I meant the correct color. The 
Backlash, huh? Can I just... What if I just kind of... Oh, it shit little guys at me. No, bad. Man. Bop. Oh. Oh, wait, they all just went for it. Hey, I appreciate that. Hey, wait. What if y'all go for... Go for that, huh? Oh, I wonder if... I wonder if they attack based on movement. Assists don't seem that smart. But I kind of don't have what I need to fight that thing, unless I want to beat it to death with my wrench. The power... Oh my god. I had to say something about the power plant, didn't I? Damn it. Come here. Come here. Come here, coward. Man. Smash every freestanding thing and see if it comes back at you. Get to a secure area, and when you're safe, call me via transcribe. I'm sending you a secure contact. All right? I'll just go. Ow. I left my transcribe in the coolant. Mom is always fishing. Is it going to run into the radio uh, radioactive area? Yeah, I mean, they'll not. I can work myself in. Are you okay? I'm just catching my breath. So, can you... Ow. Hold on. I think they feared me. But I can't be afraid if I'm drunk. Come here. Alright, I'm just gonna fucking swing on it. Either that or I just need to come back here when I have, you know, bullets. Okay. Yes, I need to come back here when I have bullets. This, uh, this fight is not working with wrench only. I don't think I have much else at my disposal other than <coughs> a gum gun. Wait a second. Yeah, it, it seems to be rather immune to cum. As a cum producer itself, that checks out. I guess let's just roll past it. Hey, you. Fix my shit. Hey. Hey. Don't ignore me. Hey, fuck you, buddy. Wow, I've been betrayed. I've been betrayed in the worst way. Ooh. Yeah, we're just gonna go. Ow. We're just gonna go. Until I upgrade my wrench swings. Oh, don't tell me I've gotta fucking kill that thing. Oh no, there's Arboretum. Yeah, we're just gonna... Please tell me there's a fucking recycler and fabricator combo in here. Ooh, eel. Delicious. Eel scraps and beer? Someone's been having a good time. It's a classic Saturday night. Oh my god. <laughs> eel tanks? Is the Arboretum where they keep all the eels? I don't think eels are plants. 
Well, I I think they are. They're just very extra wiggly, off color plants. Oh my god. Providing an Earth-like environment for relaxation and reflection to Talos One crew members, and also eels. Uh, next time I gotta add a fucking hydrate and a posture check. Redeem. You made it. Nice work. Oh, yes. The entrance ah, to deep storage punk. is off the Arboretum. Your brother's office is up here as well. Jupiter in his palace at the top of the heavens. You used to say that behind his back. But that would make you... What? Do you know? Hmm, no. That's an unpleasant thought. What does that mean? Is January talking shit? I don't know anything about mythology. Uh, what did you say? I Ow. was looking up an eel fact. Uh, because I have a really stupid story for you. Oh no. But anyway, um, what did she say? Uh, your brother is Jupiter. What would that make you, Juno? Hmm, that's an unpleasant thought. Yeah, Jupiter was the Roman equivalent of Zeus, and we all know about Zeus's uh, mating habits, but we don't know about eels, and that's the story I'm going to tell you. Did I ever tell you about the time Sigmund Freud dissected 400 eels to find eel balls? Nice, uh, nice segue, and no. Okay. So. Oh, yeah, okay, hang on, let me hydrate. Thank you for the penny. <laughs> so... Sigmund Freud, known have hydrated. insane person, um, was, was tasked with figuring out how eels reproduce, and he was unsuccessful because we still don't know. But um, he like ordered a bunch of dead eels, uh, and he just kept cutting them open until he found one with balls, so he could prove that uh, they reproduce sexually. Um, okay. Anyway, we learned much later that eels actually only grow their genitals during the mating season, which is really weird, but eels in general are really weird. Um, this is a fact. Anyway, so that was that was the story I thought of. Yeah. Uh, Engineer yeah. 3, baby. Zeus turned yeah. into a goose. That's a nice rhyme. To seduce. Wait. Zeus turned into a goose to seduce a lady. Just fucking impeccable rhymes. That makes him a furry, I think. <laughs> nice. Probably. Um, Zeus turned into a lot of things, though. Like, I think he turned into even furrier things than that. <laughs> even furrier things. I know for a fact he turned into a cow. No, no, he did not turn into a cow. He turned his girlfriend at the time into a cow. Um, that checks. Yeah, he sure was a guy. Um, I used to know so many of these, but serious anecdotes. Just mythology <laughs> anecdotes in general. Oh yeah. Zeus was a freak. What the fuck? Speaking of freaks, what the fuck was that? Morgan, are you alright? That Typhon, there's nothing in the research. Stay away from it. I only sort of saw it. Officer Ja, this is Chief Elazar. Ja here, Chief. How can I help you? I need you to report to deep storage and get Chief Show to reactivate the tracker on Grant Lockwood. HR deactivated it as part of the termination, Oop. but we don't have a record of him on the departing shuttle. I want to know where he is, and escort him where he needs to go. On it, Chief. Uh, he was probably made to disappear, buddy. <laughs> Stay away from it, and he plays his face against glass. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I want to scan it. I want to scan it. I want to cover it in glue. I want to... I should probably It's heal. a good thing you called it glue this time. I... Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I gotta check something real quick. 
What do I get from recycling not all of these, but what do I get from recycling one of one of these? Oops. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. Let me do some inventory management here. Uh up. There. What do I get from recycling one of these? Do I get minerals? Oh, I do get minerals. Ooh, okay, so for every... Hey, you know what? I never use these. So what we're gonna do is... We're gonna recycle 30 of them. Oops. Uh, we're also gonna... We're also going to recycle that, because we can come back and fabricate another one if we need it. Uh, and the darts. Sick. Okay, and now... Alright gang, we're going hunting. Also, I'm pretty fucking irradiated, give me a second. There we go. Just gonna eat all my snacks. Uh hopefully I can I can probably regenerate a good bit more than that. All right. Let's go make mistakes. While you're up there, you could look into why the lift is stuck. It'd be a lot faster and safer than having to fly through the guts again. Yeah, that place was kind of objectively fucking useless to me, so... I'd like I mean, to not it looked cool as hell. It looked pretty cool, but there is not much reason to go back. All right, where is that motherfucker? Yeah, like I talked about. Uh, oh shit, this looks like Fantoon's gonna show up. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? This is kind of nice. Nice observatory yeah. segment. Um, but aside from the uh, Subnautica comparison, it also kind of reminded me of that Crash Frigate yeah. section. Lunch is served in the cafeteria from lunch is served. To 2 Wait, sorry, what? I, I was distracted I by lunch being served. I of the uh, Metroid Prime uh, Crash Frigate section. Yeah, a little bit. Especially with the greenery around. I've managed to reduce the growth time to around 10 minutes per fruit. What the fuck? It's remarkable to see them sprout from practically nothing and grow to an edible size and ripeness before my very eyes. More importantly, I obtained clearance for a wider rating a range of testing growth formula from Dr. Kelstrup. All that's left is actually fabricating it and then inserting it into the sprinkler system. Keeping the fabrication plan on my person as I have no doubt others would love to cram, cre cram credit for it. Sounds like the fucking setup to... Oh, wait. What could I put in here? Wait, I need to split that. Wait, do I still have that? I still have that thing of moonshine. Can I just like... Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't think it worked. Dang it. I wanted to make the fucking... The fucking fertilizer system spray moonshine. <laughs> that was my most brilliant idea so far. That is just a glass door, you could probably shoot it. Dang it. Fuck. It's like... Glass 2. Okay, this is a fucking Hunter and the Hunted segment. Wait. That sounded like a voice. 
I like how these people are just like stasis in place. Oh. Is this thing like making human voice noises to lure me? I need a window. What the fuck kind of greenhouse doesn't have windows? <laughs> Hello? Wants to. Hey! Hey, over here! Open this door! What's up, buddy? Please! Can you get it open? Oh. Oh. Uh. Please. Holy shit, dude. Well, he's mind controlled now. Ah, uh, come on, open up. I want to kill it. Oop. Okay, so there's like multiple people in there that have been mind controlled. Scan complete. More specimens required. Scan complete. Oh shit! It's a Half Life Two thingy. Well, like a fucking advisor. Maybe don't open that door? No, I gotta kill it. Maybe don't open that door is just me all the time. <laughs> you yeah, do it's... not need a fancy robot to tell you this. Yeah, but what if I killed it, though? Ooh, I can get the scan now. What are you? Telepath. Weaknesses. Explosive fire, null wave. I have null wave grenades. With that said, though, I do probably need to get going in, like, 15 minutes. So in 15 minutes, you won't have anyone to tell you not to open those doors. That's not true. Bob might still be here. That's true. I always called them grubs. Oh, yeah, but the grubs but are the of... antlion grubs. But because of stream delay, he may only be able to tell you after you've opened the door. Oh, we don't have a. I don't think. I don't think I even have the option to do stream delay yet. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's just like a normal like. There's like for me normally on Twitch. There's like. There's normally like a little it. bit, but I know there's like a manual amount that you can like add. Uh, I didn't even know about that. Ooh. Just talking about you tend to contemplate opening a door and then actually open the door. Very close to each other. Oh, that's true. I, I do just kind of look and then leap. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to take this. We're going to start stockpiling turrets up near uh, where that fight is going to take place. Yeah. No! Oh. Wait, is there a better way to... Oh, I can probably just walk up this way, huh? I will, in fact, encourage you to open the door. Sick. Okay, then the only question is, will the turret blast all of the mind-controlled people? I still don't know if I can, like, help them or not. I don't think the thing that we saw was the telepath, though. I think the thing we saw was something else. Also notably, there's a lot of fucking broken turrets outside of that greenhouse. So... I can only assume there's shit outside as well. And the telepath mind controls people. I mean, this guy just got eaten by a mimic. That's pretty normal. But, um... But some of the people we've seen have just been, like, regular dead. Oh, it's the stool I threw. <laughs> Gravity tunnel loading system. 
Oh, this is just the other side of the door. Pog. Easy oh, yeah. as that. So where and what did we see out here? Uh, we saw there's definitely going to be Fantoon outside. Yeah, sooner or later. Yeah, he, he just kind of likes showing up places, and that's the only character trait he's ever had. Hey, buddy. Okay. I was actually talking about this uh, with my friends the other day. Um, that, like, Ridley oh. is the only major Metroid boss to really have a personality. Mm -hmm. I, I guess Mother Brain. Uh, I forgot Mother Brain existed. But, um... Bop, Ridley bop, is, bop, bop, he bop. least gets a pretty significant line of marker. Everyone else is like... Fantoon gets a one-off description in the Super Metroid manual. Dragon doesn't even get that. Kraid is in a weird spot because he doesn't technically have one, but every, like, incredibly questionable Metroid sprite comic uh, depicts him exactly the same way. Uh-huh. So there's, like, there's a pretty settled on, uh, like, Fan base personality for Kraid, but nothing in the actual games. He's just a goofy little guy who doesn't get paid enough. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I am very annoyed that they've got these closed, because I'd love to just toss a fucking EMP charge in there. Show them what's what. All right, I guess let's just... Oh, we don't have anything for the storage room. We just have an increasingly large number of snacks. Snacks are good. Snacks are good. Ow. All right, dude. I gotta level up my wrench skills so that I can actually just, you know, minimal ammo, wreck stuff. Been taking a lot of hits for just trying to go up and melee things. Okay, another dead person. Still thinking about the fact that we could just personally take an ability that lets us uh that lets us resurrect corpses and turn them into phantoms. True. That is just some absolutely wild shit. Oh wait, they moved the they moved the speaker. Hey guys. Look how. Haha. Ow. Bad. Alright. Threat eliminated. I still can't get through the door. One second. Here we go. It's been so long since I've worn these headphones consistently that I forgot, like, how to put them on my head in a way that doesn't hurt after, hey, like, an hour. Talos, join us in congratulating Dr. Lorenzo Calvino, winner of the Employee Innovation Award this quarter. Thanks, Dr. Calvino. You sure were Italian.
Where is that monster, though? Oh, was it you? We've seen those before. Oh wait, is that a fire one? I don't know if I've seen the fire flavor before. Yeah, that's new. Specimens required. Thermal Phantom. What's its weakness? Weakness. Psychic. Oops. Uh, how about recycling? That work? Oh, not very well. All right, hold on. Oh, there's several of them. But I have several weapons, so it's okay. Oh, we have seen one of those before. Because I remember I got hit by that shit before, too. Alright, we took a little bit of a licking, but nothing we can't cure. Yeah. Um, oh my god. Alex's grav shaft. Why does Alex get a... Oh, wait, that's my brother. Right. That goes up to, like, his office. Yeah. Um, I thought you were going to say something so much worse. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> something about Alex's shaft. Exactly. <laughs> no. No. Um, do I have anything? And on that note, I will be leaving you. <laughs> Alright. Have a good night, kid. Yeah. See you next time. Uh, I have a spare shotgun to dismantle. Uh, Okay, we don't need to use another suit repair kit yet, so we can just kind of... I guess we could go down to deep storage. What were we looking for down there? It was my self-destruct key, I think. But... How do I get up to Alex's office? Is there even a hacking for? Oops. Ooh, yeah. Maybe I should start specking into hacking just so I can have ultimate access to shit. Might not hurt to at least get hacking one. Especially now that we've got all of the repair skills. Here, we'll go ahead and we'll just get one. Probably, if I can get the minerals for it, I can probably make just a fuck ton of neuromods. Ooh, airlock. Open, open, open. Nice. Oh, that'll make getting back and forth from here way faster. Hog. All right. Uh, y'all think we should go outside, or should I, we? What is oh. it? How's it coming? I, I can't get this damn thing open. Where's Danielle? Still not answering. What the fuck? Oh, it's a map. Wait. Treasure map for Horden Baffle Flagdasterus. Have you died? Not recently, uh, but I have certainly died before. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I've died very honorably and professionally. What's wrong? Danielle tied the lock to her voice. 
We need her to speak the key phrase or we're not getting in here. Would voice samples work? Transcribe recordings? Yes. Oh, if weird. They had the right words. Or if we gathered enough to map her voice to a consonant and vowel list and started running patterns. I'll see if I can find her. Or her transcribe. I'll check her room first. All right, Ivy. But look, don't do anything stupid. Ivy. She really just Ivy? fucking locked the place down, Shit. huh? Damn it, Danielle. Where are you? You seem pretty fearless. Yeah, I am pretty stupid. <laughs> there, there are some games that are like genuinely scare me. Usually it's the ones that are very, like, heavy on suspense. It's unlikely um, the show is still alive. But most of the time I'm I just like, nah, I'ma kill it. Hack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made really? my voice. Oh. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. Danielle's cabin. Okay, well now we can, we have the key to crew quarters. I forget where crew quarters is, though. Station map, crew quarters is off of, oh, it's off of the Arboretum. That's nice. That's cozy. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I'm at the point where, like, a big scary enemy in a game where I can kill stuff uh, doesn't phase me too much because I can kill stuff. I'm equipped for the situation. I want to go to the bridge. Luggage. Oh. Hey, buddy. What you got on you? Banana peel? Nice. Can I get up there? Can I find secret ceiling treasure? Ah! Okay. I'm convinced it's possible. I just have to get on this light. And then... Oop. Oh, wait, hold on. I can do this. Yeah, there we go. Oop, wait, that might have been the opposite of what I needed. Hold on, okay, 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 hold on. <sighs> okay, I gotta time it just right. Or... How about that? This game does have different difficulties. I'm just playing on normal. Yes, I stopped. I used to just like, really just a pistol. It was hard to get up here, man, come on. Uh, I used to just like jump into stuff on hard and, and that would be like my default playthrough. But unless the game specifically tells me, hey, like you should you should play on hard, uh, I typically don't, because I would just end up, like, not necessarily beating myself my head against a wall, but I would just make games, like, way more difficult than they needed to be to, like, enjoy the experience. So I try to just go in, like, whatever the recommended or, like, default difficulty is. Captain Joda Marks. I feel like I saw that guy uh, dead somewhere. Yeah, like I said, I used to like hardcore gamer mode it and just be like, yeah, I'm just going to play everything on like whatever hard or epic or whatever the fuck. And it's just like, eventually I realized it's like, hey, I'm, I'm trying to like clean up a backlog. Like it does not make sense for me to just like make things arbitrarily hard for myself, especially when I'm just trying to, like, experience a game. If it's something I really like... Ah! Punk! If it's something I really enjoy, I can, like, go back and play it on a harder difficulty, but for my first playthrough, I try to, you know, just play normally. Ooh. 
smooth. I didn't see any of that. You want to try again? Oh, wait, I actually lost him that time. Oh, he went that way. Okay. What if I just uh, did a cheeky low turret repair? Ooh, escape pods. Well, we don't have what we need for that anyhow. Yoink. Here, let's just go down and investigate anyway. Whoa! Oh, it's these motherfuckers. Hold on. Boop. <laughs> oh man, eat gravity, nerd. Hey buddy, you have a nice fall. Hey buddy. Oop. Oh. Ow! <laughs> All right, that's karma. I deserve that. Yeah, hundred percent based on movement. Anything I can grab? I guess they just expire after a minute, huh? Oh, no, wait. Oh, did he fall? Oh, it fell. Well, now... Look at him, just, like, menacingly hopping to try to get to me. There's a couple of them down there. Wait, what if I just kind of... Oh, I can't, like, throw the body over there. I was gonna do, like, a problem sleuth and just fucking... Here, take a... Take a briefcase. Wait, shit. There you go, buddy. You want something that moves? Here's a... Here's a fucking briefcase. <laughs> oh, man. Eight shit over a briefcase. Did these guys, like, fucking kill each other trying to escape? Or did they all get fucking caught up with the, the Typhon? Surprisingly, every escape pod is just here. Launch controls. Take a seat, make sure... Remain seated. Wait until it's come to a complete stop. This just says launch. I mean, I need a key, right? There's no, I'm just gonna quick save real quick. Can I just like... Well now, bye. This escape pod is currently experiencing ah, a okay. Engineering has been notified. Please use another. Got it. I feel like I've got to, like, they they said you needed, like, an escape pod key, so I probably need the key to, like, open the door. They're probably only accessible like that to make the employees feel better. They're probably not actually usable to leave the station without, like, the use express permission. So I assume, what, if I go this one on the opposite side... Well, it also said I needed to use, like, Alex's personal escape pod instead of, like, this one. This escape pod is currently experiencing so I guess all the normal escape pods are just, like, locked modified. down. Please use another. Is there anything worth getting down there? I don't think it's worth jumping down there. How do these things even... Oh, they've got little hatches behind them. Okay. Yes, they just, like, locked down all the escape pods. It's like working in a building with all the fire exits locked. Except the building is in space. And in 
instead of fire, it's aliens. <laughs> Can't have the workers leave, yeah. They've got classified information. Can't leave with that. Alright, where'd you go? Oh. Nice. Weaknesses, EMP. We can do that. Suck on that. Oop. Hey, buddy. Handled. Probably need to heal, though. Well, here, before I heal... We'll see if we've got any, uh... Ooh. Hello. We'll see if we've got any, uh, medical operators or anything we could use. Oh, it's one big looking glass. That's kind of fucking rad, actually. So you can have all the benefits of Windows without an actual window. Yo, is that a space shuttle? Oh, I want to go to the space shuttle. Oh, that's so cool. I want to go out to that. It's drifting out there, though. I want. I feel like that's out of bounds. There is a shuttle bay. Maybe I'll get my fill when we go to the shuttle bay. And there's crew quarters. And... Oh. Arboretum. Looks like it's got that yellow space come all over it. Yeah, it sure does. Man, we went a long way through the pipe, huh? We're at the very top of the station now. Water. Yeah, this one went out like a hero. Uh, transcribe. I, I got an SOS from a Kirk Remmer. I was going to route him to security, but we got cut off. He said he was at the escape pods in life support. So call Chief Show up in deep storage. I'm not a network engineer. You're his supervisor? Lady, do you people even know what is happening down here? One of my cargo bases is blown wide open, and I've got Jesus multiple Christ. MIAs. Please tell me there's a medical team on the way. I'm sorry, I don't know, but I can relay your message to Dr. DeVries and- Christ, I've gotta go. <laughs> that guy was so done. What do you have for me, Cothran? Chief, yeah, so I checked that flight plan for the volunteer shuttle like you requested. You're right, it went dark for 12 minutes before it resumed the path towards Earth, but at a slightly different trajectory than before. It's almost unnoticeable, like it left from a different part of the station or changed its flight pattern around Talos. 12 minutes? What about the other shuttles? It's only the volunteer shuttles, but it's all of them. They go dark 8 to 10 minutes after leaving the station, then suddenly reappear. The VIP shuttles don't show the same irregularity. Got it. Spooky. Don't talk to anyone about this. About what, Chief? Exactly. Good work, Matt. Elazar out. Alright, nice. We got a medical one. The volunteers, the quote-unquote volunteers, are the ones that get used for all the experiments. So, I wonder if their shuttles going dark have to do something with that? Either they get, like, possessed or altered or something, or they... What the fuck was that? I have never heard that noise before. What's the stool for, buddy? Oh. Parkour. Okay, 
everything looks normal. Okay, no sign of a medical operator, so I'm just going to go ahead and heal myself up. That'll be sufficient. Wait, what was the purpose of doing this? Is there something else I could reach up here? Well, there is another walkway further up. Is there some way I can reach that? Uh, okay. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I just saw a high place and wanted to be up here. And there's another one up into my right. Have you? Right, I think we're as high as we can get in here. of value. I don't think I could even jetpack all the way down there. But I can see down there and looks like the usual combination of furniture and dead people. Alright, time to get down. We have returned to floor. Never see it coming. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Mimic? Where? Safety aboard Talos 1 is everyone's responsibility. Mm -hmm. Send all help requests or concerns to security at transstar.talos. I am very safe. I don't think anyone could possibly... No one could possibly accuse me of not being the safest motherfucker on this space station. I mean, look at me. I'm like the only one who's not dead. Okay, I could eat a snacky at that. And delicious. Oh, hey. Okay, so this is where they can monitor trajectories. That's cool. After the space race. Let's see. Now that space travel was a reality, the new challenges became 1. How to recoup beyond simple military and science gains, and 2. Fighting the argument that both groups were ill-equipped to do so. For corporations, the value of space travel was in the acquisition of real estate in what amounted to international waters, especially what laws governed such territorial claims. This allowed for an ethical loosening of constraints, as well as added security in both containing accidents and the messaging of accidents on space station laboratories. <laughs> you can write it in a book, but that doesn't make it true. <laughs> Ooh. I got the hidden bourbon. Ethical loosening of restraints. That sure is a way to put it. Boop. 
All right, let's get up there onto that bridge platform. Ah, I see. The way this place is laid out is going to make regular glue gunning pretty challenging, but using that scaffolding, I should be able to make it up there with, you know, plenty of planning. I just have to not fuck it up. But everyone knows I'm incredibly good at platforming. Okay, I think I can reach that. Boop. What's up, buddy? Nope, I need that. Bop. And... Bop. Ooh, let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Shit. 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 Alright. Shit. Damn it. Did it so well earlier. Fuck. All right, this time I got it. Hip, hip, no! There. Why? I was able to walk on this pipe with no problem earlier and now I keep slipping off of it. Okay, okay, we're free, we're free from the pipe. I think that's as far up as we need to go. Yep. All right. And made it. Ooh. Fancy captain's chair. What secrets? Uh, okay, let me just eat something. I can't just fucking... Okay. I'm just gonna dismantle that. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna dismantle that. And I'm gonna pray we find a recycler soon. Ow! Dick? Hey. Fucking mimic fucked me up. But that gives me an excuse to clear out more snacks. What else we got up here? Also, any more surprises? Huh. What am I looking at? Wasted way more ammo on that motherfucker than I needed to. It's a fancy bass. Base. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh flight log from a shuttle. I wonder if this is the shuttle that's in orbit around the station. Let's see. Departure point from the station. Oh, no. Uh, departure point Seattle. Destination the station. Or liftoff at 0900. Conditions normal. Pre-check certified. For executive passengers mail cargo <laughs> bass. Flight was uneventful until 11.33 when radar detected an un unidentified shuttle approximately 30 degrees off our flight path at 9,000 kilometers. Its drift and rotation indicated malfunctioning maneuvering thrusters. There is no answer to radio calls. Captain Cooper ordered a course adjustment to bring us alongside. As we maneuvered to within 60 kilometers, a second shuttle appeared on radar in the vicinity of the drifting vessel. Transponders identified it as a military vessel. We received a radio message to resume our original heading immediately. 
Captain Cooper asked if assistance was required and the order from the military shuttle was repeated. All highly unusual, but then it got really strange. The captain spotted it first. There is a facility out there and it was running absolutely dark. No lights. Radar transparent. We were too far to see any details, but it was big. Cooper snapped into action, punched a course to Talos, and fired the engines. We moved out as quickly as possible. Our passengers were clueless to the entire encounter. Our arrival at Talos went smoothly, and the passengers and cargo were delivered safely. What the fuck? So, this was two hours. I don't know how long... Wait. Yeah, they didn't say how long it took them to get to Talos. I guess 9,000 kilometers is, like, altitude. I don't know if they're talking about altitude or, like, their distance from this shuttle to the other shuttle, but there's some kind of facility, some kind of stealth facility out there in orbit. I wonder if that's a corporate thing or if that's, like, a military thing. That's weird as shit. I'm curious about some other space station that we probably won't get to go to. I'll check that in a minute. Briefing room keycard. Alright, let's check the terminal. Shuttle Advent. Before it's too late, I thought you needed to know that the Shuttle Advent departed just before the first alarms. They did go through standard inspection, but, that's, but that was before what we knew to look for. If they land in Seattle with one of those things aboard, I've enabled the scuttle charges on Advent. They can be activated remotely from the bridge. It's in your hands, Captain. They'll touch down soon. For what it's worth, they have no idea the scuttle charges are enabled. Jesus Christ, so a fucking... So right before the, the like, breach became known... A shuttle departed, and they're like, yeah, we can just blow it up, just in case. Captain Marks, your transcribe is offline. I can't reach you, and I know you wouldn't leave Talos while there were still crew aboard. I know it's a long shot, but if you get this message, contact me. I'm in cargo bay at the moment. I have a handful of survivors with me. From the security chief. Yeah, I think the captain got fucking got by a mimic. What is this? Oh, what? We can literally see how long it fucking is gonna take for the shuttle to land. What do you think, guys? Should we blow it up? Should we blow up the shuttle to prevent a, an outbreak on Earth? Or should we just leave them? Ah, oh, that's so fucked, dude. <laughs> We can just pretend we didn't see anything. Uh, I gotta think about that one. Yeah, do we want to just say fuck, like, fuck the earth, let them fucking set down, or just blow up the fucking shuttle. There's no guarantee there is anything aboard either. They they went through an inspection. So it's possible that something snuck aboard, but there's no guarantee. I think I'm going to leave them for now. And we got two minutes to go back on our decision. Also, what's the what are the utilities here? Station-wide announcements. Sure. Evacuation announcement. Emergency evacuation cannot be triggered without authorization from Alex U. I'm just going to leave the shuttle. Not sure it's even fucking... I'm thinking about escaping. I mean, I could track some fucking... Some fucking thing down with me. Oh, security station. Oops. Let's see. Where 
there's a suspiciously small number of people in Trauma Center. I know where Lane Carpenter is. Lane Carpenter is fucking locked in a goddamn closet. Okay, we'll find a few more people in crew quarters. All right. Ooh. Hey, buddy. I don't think we need anything else in here. We've been through the briefing room and, uh, wait, observation deck. Is that just this area with the fucking... Oh, wait, we can change the... Yeah, we just left the shuttle. <laughs> So we can just... Oh, we can change the, the orbit of the camera. So we could like pause the camera in Good certain positions. Talos. Don't Neat. forget that Transtar safety standards call for a weekly inspection of your uniform. Report to the Neat. hardware labs for a diagnostic. Nice. I like the camera controls. Wait, and what's this? Can't wait for the new hires and wipe that smile off your face. I know you're smirking. I just pray there's no new folks in, in psychotronics as part of the Earthside rotation. Ugh. Agreed, and I still can't believe you agreed to that extra neuromod knowing how creepy those psychos are. But worse, their lack of personality is contagious. Even Morgan's got glassy eyes now. Hasn't smiled or made a joke in what? A month? A year? Yeah, I was kind of uh, catching some heavy amnesia and probably sleep deprivation. Uh. All right. I think we have pretty thoroughly explored the bridge. All right, so we covered bridge and we covered escape pods. Let's just scoot back up to the Arboretum. I think next stop, well, next stop is going to be main elevator. But then maybe crew quarters? I do need to find a recycler to do a good old inventory clear. Carrying a lot of garbage around in my pockets right now. Alleyup. Hmm. Oh, what the f- I need to scan it before I fucking- Alright, alright. Ow. Alright, it's time to fucking throw down. Ow! <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, if I got the sneak attack, we could have fucking killed it. Alright, we found the big spooky guy. I just want to get the scan before it starts attacking this time. Oh wait, here it is. Oh, it's seen me! <laughs> Alright, reload, reload, reload. You ain't shit! Ow! 
Pistol. Come on. Fucking. I need my fucking med kits. We got it. I just have to not fucking die. Oh my god. 30 Typhon organs? It was called a nightmare. I think that was the thing that was like peeking in the door when we got here. It got us with the fucking... Ow! Ow! Oh, what the fuck? Ow! Ow! Bad! Holy shit! The fucking Mimic Squad. Where did all those come from? I don't even know where they were fucking hiding. Oh well, we killed the big boy. That's what matters. That is the first time that I've wanted and needed more magazine capacity for my shotgun. Oh, yeah, more of the Starbender cycle. Hell yeah. Excerpt from Book 4 of the Starbender cycle by Fetcher McMarvin. Trevor's breath fogged up the glass of the airlock door, obscuring the faces of the royal astronomer and Mercy, smirking her signature smirk at him from the other side. Breathe shallow, Pulsar, the astronomer menaced. <laughs> For these breaths be your last breaths. See a pirate? Now that I have the prism... The dark star anomaly is under my control, and the galaxy shall... The astronomer didn't finish because he was interrupted by his head being exploded by a blast from Mercy's phase pistol. His remaining words replaced by the muted clattering of his teeth against the other side of the airlock door. White breath fog mingled with red mist on the airlock glass, casting Trevor in a pink glow. Nothing personal, Trevor, Mercy said. I'm sure this thing will fetch a nice price on the Thraxian black market. And with that, she kicked the airlock button, sending Trevor tumbling out into the unloving black of space. Man, I can't wait to book five. <laughs> I can't, can't wait for book five. Hell yeah, in memory of John F. Kennedy. These two things being right next to each other <laughs> is so fucking funny. The Starbender Cycle, <laughs> dedicated to John F. Kennedy. I wonder if there's anything just like out in the woods. Ooh. Like how the, they didn't have an actual baseball, so they just had a ball of synthetic material. Oh, finally. I've been waiting for this moment. Ever since I left my apartment simulation. Pizza time. there's anything else out here. Oh, where is the... I guess I'll just continue on the path that I was on. Okay, main lift is down there. Okay, here's the path I was on that I wandered off of. Leads to the looking glass. Ooh. Ooh, wait. What? Hold up. Given by Catherine Yu. Thanks, Mom. Aw, oh, man. It's under construction. Yeah! I had a... It's the... 
it's not the pizza from the beginning, <laughs> the beginning of the game, but in spirit it is. Man, I wish we could have played with the looking glass scene selector. Oh, hey. How did you get back there? Bad mimic. The hell? Alright. Whatever. Nothing matters. It's pizza time now. Pizza would never betray me. <laughs> Get. Okay, no, crew quarters is... Okay, crew quarters is that way. I think main lift was blocked off by something. Oh, wait, no, we haven't even been here yet. Oops. There we go. I think I know what happened to these guys. Let's fix them up. Probably caught the wrong end of that fucking nightmare. What's in here? Oh, there is a medical op uh, operator in here. Would have loved to know that before I fucking burned a shit ton of med kits. Give me, give me. Ooh, and there's a vent there. Okay, good. Operators clear the room. Bob. Yoink. Uh, I need some, like, nice big chunks of metal to stick re uh, recycler charges on and just get loads and loads of mineral material. Ooh. Hold still. Wait, why are there several of you? Oh, he can just zoop out of that. Alright, whatever. I just need two more scans. Get out of the fire. Hey, welcome, Hoini. Thanks for joining. We are, uh... Wandering around the restful and relaxing arboretum of this horrible, horrible space station. And where did that fucking... Where did that medic go? Come on, buddy. He just wandered off, huh? Let's see... Ooh, okay, I am just, like, almost completely full-on garbage. I need to find a recycler so I can get rid of some of my trash. Come here, come here. There we go. And I can go ahead and use one of these, because it's just eating up a whole extra slot right now. All right. I'm pretty sure this is like the service area for the elevator that's been blocked this whole time. So why don't we see if we can, ooh. Wait, optimizer. Oh, I assume that's for optimizing one of my abilities. Uh, Chipsets. 
Oh, I got a bunch of these I didn't know about. Boosts Psychos Morphs powers. Have a chance to cast a side power for free. Okay, none of that matters to me because I'm just not even spec'd for that. Wait, when did I get all this? Damage sustained while sliding. Backlash. Decreases the effect of EMP damage. Increases glide speed. Yo, all right. Give me the fucking... Oops, shit. There we go. All right, give me that. Uh, give me the EMP shielding, too. Yeah, how you doing tonight, Hoenie? Hope I'm saying your name right. I'm, uh, might be butchering that. I can smell another Typhon in here somewhere. Aw, oh, man. I don't think I can recycle or charge this thing out of existence like I did the last one I ran into. Worth a charge, uh, try though. Boop. Oh, it worked! Never mind, worth. And we got a bunch of minerals. Okay, I just, I probably won't be able to get that thing under there. Ooh, weapon upgrade kit, nice. Shotgun fabrication plan, shotgun ammo. Spare parts. More trash. All right, let's make some inventory space for just a second. I can just, uh, I don't know. I can just drop a stack of something. Or how many Neuromods do I have? Oh, only one. Yeah, not enough to get more inventory space. Let's just drop these. And I think we just need three slots. Uh, there we go. Oh, it's only two, okay. Sick, all right. Let's just upgrade our shotgun real quick and get our space back. Okay, I think that's everything from this little closet. And I don't think there's anything under here worth grabbing. Oh wait. Yoink. Missed a few materials. Oh, uh, well. Anything in here? Yeah, ammo for a gun we never use. Oh, my pizza! I almost forgot my pizza. Oh wait, no, I just left it by the, el the elevator door. Wait, so that means the elevator must be like here, right? All right, so what's blocking it? Wait, there's nothing back here. Not quite sure what the purpose of this was, unless it's just breaking through that window and coming in. It's just maybe just an alternate entrance. Um, all right, well, I see nothing. Let's just go try the main elevator, I guess. Scoop 
back through here. Yeah, they mentioned an upgrade for sliding, and I realized I haven't even slid like this whole game. Ah, uh, sorry pizza. This is where our journey ends. It said lobby. I wonder if there's a separate... Well, I guess we'll see in a second, huh? Ah! That Typhon is an unknown type. Oh! It's the source of the problem with the lift. Yeah, don't worry. I know exactly what this thing is. Oh, this guy can eat my ass! Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. I gotta kill his buddies first, though. Or else they're gonna rip me apart. it be more effective to use this or just shotgun the bastard. Oh yeah, he doesn't seem to be able to do much when we do this. Owie. Oh, I need to heal. I need to heal or I may just eat shit. That'll do. Ow. You stop that. And you Okay. Okay. One more. Oh, I did. <laughs> Up. Ow. Die. Eight nice technopaths. Work. The lift is responding again. That Typhon hijacked the hardware, even the software running the system, all the way down to the machine code, reprogramming it on the fly. Fascinating and alarming. Yeah, they do shit like that. <laughs> you should be fine. Take the lift if you need to move quickly between the three main decks on Talos One. It has a stop in the lobby and down in life support. Wow. And how I never need to go through guts again. Thank fuck for that. I can just zoop down to the lobby. Am I gonna make a run for Trauma Center with my 30 health to see if I can to see if I can run down and uh, heal myself for free? Yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, man. This place is a fucking dump now. Alright, I'm gonna need to use at least one of those. Howdy, fellas. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be back for you later. All right. Let's just let's just sneak through the trauma center, nice and easy, like. Hello. Nice to see you. There you are. Heal. Heal me. Heal me. Diagnosing. Looks like you've had a rough day. I'll have you feeling better still. Look at this. Hold on. Don't forget to complete a Did patient I not have that already? Your feedback will be invaluable. Ooh. I'll be back for that later, too. 
Okay, the telepath is down there. Oh, yeah, we should, uh, should scan that motherfucker, too. Aw, oh, man. Cool. Oh, and there's a weaver here. Oh, you didn't see shit. You didn't see shit until I run back to my office and recycle some shit. Okay, we've evaded them. Now, I've had about enough of all that garbage. Um... Might as well just throw those in there. And that. And... Those. Um... Anything else? I think that's good. Sick. Now, do I have enough mineral material to make a shit ton of neuromods? There's an error mod. I don't know why I didn't see it. Okay. I can make four. Four is good. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. All right. Uh, we could get hacking two. We could get even more health. We could get med kit effectiveness. We could get better sneak. We could get better sneak attack, which is very tempting, but I think I'm gonna be a meathead and go for health. Natural lifespan increased by 50 years. I'm a freak. I have more autonomy than a typical operator. The contents of the video are sensitive. Only a flesh and blood person could handle the responsibility, I presume. Did I ask? January, you're currently a suspect. I don't need you fucking... I don't need you giving me any lip for anything. Okay, so we got the weaver down there. Oop. A weaver took the stairs. Now where... Let me get the scan on that telepath. If I can catch these two in the same null wave... I could disable their psychic abilities and make them way easier to handle. But I do have two if it comes to that. You know what? Good afternoon, Talos. Lunch is served in the cafeteria from 12 Doink. to 2 p.m. Please refer weekly upgrade for today's... All right. We're going to sneak up here. Oh, he's just floating around. Wait, where'd the telepath go? Oop. Wait, the telepath flew up there. Can everything I'm facing off against right now fly? Because that's going to be... That's going to be a bit of a complication. Oops. 
teleports behind you. <laughs> Nothing personnel, kid. Alright. Telepathy did not save it. Now let's fix our little turret, buddy. Where'd that guy's corpse go? Aha! Nice. All right, we're gonna get another fucking... Actually, hold on. Damn, our turret had that one just about on lock. All we need to do is finish the job. Wait, I've got just a thing for these guys. Hey guys. Catch. Ow. Okay, well. That explosive barrel has never treated me very well, huh? That's fine. I'm not mad. Uh, all right, let's go back up to Trauma Center and visit that guy's office. Because I think that's the one place in Trauma Center we haven't gone yet. Still haven't figured out if we could, like, de-mind control the mind-controlled fellas, but... Let's open that shit up. Hello? No surprises. Alright. What forbidden secrets do you have? Yet the effects of medical technology on society's norms can be more pronounced. To cite a recent example, one only has to recall cigarette use was often frowned upon as a habit until advances in the food industry that allowed for consumable microspheres that captured and expelled cancer cells from the body. Simultaneously, both the fear of cancer and the stigma attached to smoking vanished within a generation. Now smoking is perceived as no more harmful than drinking a soda. I... I mean... There's still tar... And... They reek... And the smell gets into everything. I don't know, dude. I don't know if it's that simple. No shade on you if you smoke. Just, you know, if it's a cigarette, don't do it around me. Let's see. Emails. Hendrick, I need you to remove all sensitive material regarding the psych evals immediately. Of special importance are Morgan's log sessions. I need those materials in my office. From this point forward, only speak through an encrypted transcribe. I've sent you the decryption key. You should be able to download it from your workstation. People were saying a little bit of, uh... Uh... Hmm... What's the word? Incriminating stuff during the psych eval. <laughs> Subject for quarantine. Trevor Young is one of our scientists. He was exposed to our inner containment area without proper protection. He's gone through observation and psychotronics and has most recent neuromods removed as a precaution. We'd like to keep him under more standard quarantine until we can be certain there are no lingering psychological effects. Work with Dr. Cole on this. Thanks. Uh, and... The decryption key. Alright, so now... If we get any of his encrypted sessions. Wait, did I already have an encrypted one? Uh... Find your psychological... Oh, shit, where's mine, dude? I'm gonna prioritize that one. Uh, 
Dr. Gallego's help. Habitation pod. Wait. Where was Bellamy's body in Psychotronics? I didn't even see it. Kirk Rimmer, life support. Josh Dalton. Julian Howard. Alex's office safe. Deep storage. Uh, okay. Let's do do no harm first. Oh, the Psychotronics morgue. Wasn't there a room in there that we couldn't get into? I think there was one Hello. that was like locked off. See you again, Dr. Yu. Wait, where did you float off to this time? Hey, heal me. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit. I don't want to burn my portable med kit. Hey, you doing okay in there, Trevor Young? Mind Jack. Yeah, all right in there, buddy. Oh wait, Devries seven three two four. Could that be? Oh, oops, wrong one. Seven, three, two, four. Ho ho! Thank you, insane man. Three more neuromods. You love to see it. Uh, I was kind of hoping to find a cool transcribe in there, but okay, I've had enough of the the soothing space music. Let's have a look-see. Um... I guess let's go back up. Powers. I don't have any powers. I wonder if something drained some of our psychic juice. Wait. Ow! Dick. Man. I hate horror elevator rides. I mean, but he's the one who teleported into an elevator with a fox girl with a shotgun. His loss. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's just scoot back out here. I'm really curious about finding my psych eval. Want to know what that fucking dude said on his interview. Okay, turrets are still happy. I guess they're not very helpful out here. I wonder if another nightmare spawned since we left this area and came back. Dalton had something important. Oh wait, that's right, Josh Dalton was in Guts somewhere. Where the hell was he? I thought we found everybody in Guts.
Gotta start cleaning some of these things off of our objective list. All right, where are you? Wait, he's that far down? Gravity detected. Hell, at this rate, it would be faster for me to just fucking... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, there's a weaver in here that needs murdering. Because the last time I was here, I didn't have ammo for it. That's why we didn't get over there. Alright, let's see if we can get the drop on it. Ah, there it is. You think you can cause me to fear you? I don't fear shit. I'm drunk. Wait, is that it? Is it dead? I don't think that was even a whole pistol magazine. Where does Guts go? Is that it? Ho oh, ho! Got him. Oh, and there's Josh. That's why we didn't see him, because he's in the area where we were getting menaced by a fucking weaver. And he had a spare Q beam. I got a security request saying to... It's not funny, asshole. You know what's not funny? Taking credit for my design. That's what this is about? I'm senior on the Black Box Project, Josh. That's how it works here. If you weren't such a piss-poor team player, you'd understand that. Oh, and by Ooh, the way... This guy's a, a corporate dog. So it's not you... Seriously? You're recording this? <laughs> what is, is this a big sting operation, Josh? You gonna hand me over to the DA? <laughs> You're so pathetic. I'm done here. Josh, what are you doing? Let's just see how good my calculations are. I swear to God, you don't put that down. Wow. Rip it out of your sweaty hands and... Josh! Holy shit, dude. This is Captain Jada Marks. I'm setting down for posterity my deliberation over the fate of the shuttle advent. I'm unable to determine with confidence if the advent departed before being contaminated by the life forms presently overwhelming Talos 1. Mm -hmm. Best guess, based on telemetry data, advent departed approximately 30 minutes prior to the first incident report logged by security. 30 minutes. It is within that narrow gap of uncertainty I must decide whether or not to remote detonate the shuttle and its five passengers. They may very well be flying a cargo hold full of mimics to an unsuspecting Earth. They may not. Captain! We could sure as hell use that golden gun right about now! I don't... Re. Well, we let them set down, so if they were departing with a cargo hold full of mimics, well, uh, you know, that's just not our problem anymore, right? It's Earth's problem. <laughs> um, yeah, let's upgrade our shotgun again. Just do ammo capacity all the way up next, because that's what I found myself wanting uh, the last time we faced a sufficiently large enemy. Oh, heading off, Ash? I appreciate you coming by and hanging out. And thanks so much for the for the subs and the bits and everything. It's super, super appreciated. I hope you have a nice night. Thank you so much. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Yeah, take care now. Hope to see you next time. Oh, welcome, Ashan. How's it going? 
Ooh, that's a lot of that emote that's still on there for some reason. I gotta double check Kappa Gen, figure out why it's doing that. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we are making questionable decisions and uh, meat heading our way through some aliens in Prey. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm super, super excited. I've been, uh, I've been playing with some of the tools that I've got access to now and uh, having a lot of fun with it. So I'm excited to see what I can do now with that. Uh, bang! <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm excited to see what other cool stuff I can do with, uh, with channel points redeems and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, feel free to hang out for a bit, or if you're busy, I appreciate you coming by. I tend to clear some snacks out of my inventory. And also, I wonder... Can I spam myself up some more Neuromods? Yes, I can. Gimme, 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 gimme. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Man, once I find a good source of mineral materials, it's over for you motherfuckers. Probably just gonna be sticking recycler charges on boxes or something. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got seven neuromods. Let's see what we're gonna get next. Tempted to do suit. Because that would get us some more inventory space. Let's see. Or we could go into hacker, or we could make our fucking... Ooh, this would be pretty... This would be, what, six mods? Huh. 150% for one mod is pretty free. 300%. Why not? Doubles the duration of well-fed. Yeah, that's that's just free. That's a no-brainer for a weird, tanky freak like me. <laughs> oh, and it gets us even more health from food now? That's wild. That's excellent. What do we got? Okay, this is crew quarters. So I guess let's slide into crew Hello, quarters and see what we can find. You. Nothing in the storage bays yet. No. Right, and we got the key to that now. So, sick. Let's go for it. I'm sure the space station uh, for forbidden corporate research has very normal living situations for its employees. The Yellow Trip Lounge? That sounds weird. Well, let's find out. Pew. Oop. All right, we got the mind control dude already. You, I see you. Another puppet. Looking for me with blood eggs behind your eyes. Come closer. Yeah. Ugh. A little closer. Jesus Christ, dude, his head fucking exploded. Come into a kitchen. Good. Come. 
This guy sounds like he's having a normal one. Where will you stop? Stop! Can't think with all the puppet bombs. Alright, y'all can just... Y'all can just go in timeout. You okay? Yeah, y'all can just hang out. Just hang out in the glue until we figure out what to do with you. I'll come back for you later, maybe. Can you? How many bodies do have, huh? Stay. Stay. Uh, no code for the mail room. Better try the classic. Dang it. You think you can kill me with them? You run out of puppets, huh? Maybe you starve. What this? Crew cabins. Alright, someone in there having another normal one. Ooh, fitness center. Alright. Oh, shit. There we go. Damn it. One of these days it's gonna work. I swear. Ooh. Jorgen? That's not what I wanted to pick up. <laughs> oh, this guy had tons of pizza. Respect. Exotic material, recycle recharge plans, leverage assist. I've got a leverage assist. I wonder if they stack. We'll need another slot to find out. Ooh, free upgrade kit. Another one for the shotgun. Let's see. Okay, these are the same as... Yeah, these are the same as in his lab. What about this one? Sylvan Bellamy. Yeah, we never found Bellamy. Gotta go back to Psychotronics and find him. Kendrick DeVries. Nice. Okay. Glad he left the door open for us. Uh, I would like to know what this fella's doing in here. I think this is the psych eval guy. Dr. Cole. What's he doing in this dude's cabin? And why is this dude's cabin full of surgical equipment? That's a little spooky. Oh, I don't think there's anything else to pick up in here. Uh, don't have that card. Wait, what hacking level are these? Oh. There is none. Hey, you apparently misplaced your transcribe again. Just wanted you to know that I still have some of your stuff in my room. Don't know if you want it back. Call me or something, Abby. That's awkward. Uh... Oh. Well, that's that. Oh, that's easy. Yoink. What are you doing? Are you recording this? Joint transcripts are fun. They are not. It's like mental scrapbooking. You both save the moments that matter. Ooh. Oh, yo! The first... Oh, hold on. That guy's... That guy's interrupting my reading time. Hold on. Hello? Is that the next floor down or something? It must be right under me. Unless it's a poltergeist. It's a poltergeist. Ow! In a room full of physics objects. Ow!
Okay. Where's that book? I always wanted to read chapter one. Anyway, yeah, we've just stumbled into the site of a very awkward, uh, failed relationship. Get that shit out of here. I want to read Starbender Cycle. Okay, so we've read books two, three, and four, so now we get to read the, the beginning. Excerpt from book one of the Starbender Cycle by Fetcher McMarvin. Empress Norvaline gazed past her stern reflection into the inky black, her angular features circumscribed by the prime-viewing dome of the capital ship, Scatterthrax. The royal astronomer cleared his throat. Furthermore, your majesty, the Dark Star Anomaly will gain momentum once it begins devouring systems. Within a matter of months, the entire galaxy will be consumed. From that point, it will have enough mass to pull other galaxies into its maw. I suppose you want me to fund an expedition to find this starbender prism. The way you prattle on about the thing, if it exists, might be the key to saving our galaxy. Your Majesty, there's only one man I know mad enough to take this on. You can't mean Trevor Pulsar. <laughs> Fucking, uh, I was gonna say Emmy Award winning. I don't, well, okay. I don't know what the award for books is, but this one gets an Emmy Award, but it's an award from this Emmy. To do, find missing transcribe, check theater. Theater. Get my stuff from Abby's cabin. Finish draft of apology letter. Pull head out of ass. Prioritize relationships over work. Oof, dude. Daniel show tracking bracelet. Why do you have a fucking tracking bracelet? Okay, email. Uh, from Dr. Calvino. Daniel, my workstation said it was time to update my password. I wanted to know if it was okay to use Kublai Khan and whether that fit your requirements. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Calvino, for starters, if you have any more questions about passwords, please email the IT department and don't use my personal address. Second, you should never type your password into an email, regardless of how tight our security is, you never know. Third, the password guidelines are just that, guidelines. You're all grown-ups and can use whatever you want, but we have a list of recommendations for keeping your passwords safe. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> The guy can't be, like, that old. I mean, it's like 20, 30, whatever. Hey, Danielle, I'm pulling a late shift on the bridge tonight, and I left my transcribe in my pod. Could I convince you to bring it to me on my on your way to deep storage? B2W, I have some ideas for making our uniforms look a little more pop star for our demonstration at the Tulip. Don't be scared. We're starting a band. Oh my god, this is for the D&D &D group. Greetings, adventurers. Each of you should have a map fragment by now. I managed to hand them to some of you in person. Others might have noticed a new file on your workstations after the last session. They are map fragments. Work together and figure out the clues. Once you have, return to my quarters and you will be given your prize. Your humble game master, Abigail. Ooh, this is gonna be awkward. Nope, this sounded serious, so I wanted to shut my transcribe off. So, okay, so you're asking me if it's okay to record our game on the transcribes. Yes, <laughs> uh, I know using yeah. the way, it's not right. I can't be having this conversation. <gasps> Another oh, character I, sheet. I'm so sorry. I'm going to lose my job for even talking to you about this. What? What? Exactly. What you're going to do is have dinner with me. What? Mm, what? You say what a lot when you should say yes. <sighs> yes? Girl. All settled. Don't worry about the transcribes. It's not against regulation. So, are you going to invite me to this game or not? Bro, I think scaring the shit out of somebody about getting fired is not the way that you come on to somebody. Captain? Did I... I thought... Your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Stop <laughs> by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. I want to know about the golden gun now. I mean, is it better than my golden gun? 
Who knows? Fatal Fortress. Melinda Shadow Corner. Corner? Okay. Uh, age 23, 5'5", five, five, description, short black hair. Damn, that's good art, though. Strength, of course, dex hero, health. Nice, didn't take much damage, good. Uh, anything interesting? Nah. Missed you, leaving your character sheet here, but I have a spare in case you don't make it back before the game. And don't worry, it looks great. See you at the rec center, Abby. Ooh. <coughs> uh, that's just, that's so fucking awkward, dude. Eavesdropping on somebody else's, like, relationship. Hey, Dr. Calvino's cabin. Uh, oh. Oh, that's cool. What is this, little lens mouth or something? This has got to be like a recreation of something. It's a super cool little idea. Let's see. Oh, and there's his fucking... May 23rd, May 23rd, May 23rd, May 23rd, May 23rd, May 23rd. Oh, it's his anniversary. Ah, his key code must be 523, or 0523, I guess. Working on some fucking VR. Looking glass. LG visor. Looking glass visor. So yeah, he's working on a VR headset. Never. I have never removed a neuromod. And yet, today, I could not find my way to the hardware labs. I wandered the arboretum for an, an hour. I made some excuse, but... I know me you suspects. I cannot keep making toys for Transstar when I told Alex what I want to try. He gave me a device to help. Parapsychological contraption. Morgan made it. Some of the components are beyond me. I think he might just have like regular like Alzheimer's Alex, or something. This is Captain Marks. I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos 1. I've tried to issue a mayday to Earthside operations, but our external communication systems are malfunctioning. Mm -hmm. If you're still with us, we're keeping our posts until the last pods are safely away. Mark's out. Yeah, I don't think Alex authorized that. Alex! Damn it. Hold on. I'm encrypting the rest of this. Okay. Dr. Cole already wiped the recording of Morgan's breakdown off his computer. The last copy is hidden in his office. I'm not going back. You'll have to get it yourself. A, C, B, A, C. Good luck. A, B, C, A, C. Dear Future Us, today, Future Us, we are not calling ourselves that. Today, I was able to convince my beautiful Pain. but stubborn partner to stubborn to stay in bed and not report for an extra shift. And this is the reward I get. Pain. This dream again. There is something wrong with this station. Something here with us, but I am hallucinating now. There, uh, there, there is no question. I wonder if the had a physical device that they gave him to help him with his memory loss. I wonder if maybe that allowed the Typhon to tap into him somehow? I, I tried to open the locker, but I, I could not remember our anniversary. And for a moment, even her name escaped me. Her Ooh. name! If one day I wake up and cannot even remember the work I am doing. I must give it all to Morgan. She will know what to do with it. He's got a whole little... This is so cool. Wait. Is the camera... Oh. 
Is he using the camera to actually, like, scan this into a looking glass world? That's so cool, dude. What the fuck? First test. Anterior electrodes overheated uh, after six seconds. But I swear, there was a moment I saw her again. The day we met on the coast of Amalfi. Mm. Her lemon sundress. My Clorinda. Man. This shit hurts. Why is the entire crew quarters just like pain? All right. Well, I hate to, I hate to do it to you, Doctor Calvino. But I gotta know. I gotta know what's behind here. Ah. Nothing. The greatest reward of all. Well, time to go. That shit kind of hurted. What's in the bathroom? Some spooky music stings in the bathroom, that's what. Hello? Stall check. Stall check. Stall check. Stall check. Here are no checks I can do easily. What even is that? Uh, I feel like you'd need that after this night. Ooh, a note. Bill, if you're injured or sick, you get a pass. Otherwise, it's 75 minutes of exercise per week minimum. Code of the gym is 8403 in case you forgot. Is that just like fitness bros, I guess? Keeping his buddy in shape? Hello? Ah, the actual pods. So I guess the, like, senior staff get whole rooms. And then the regular workers get pods. Anders, your package arrived. Front desk. If I'm not here, code 6174 on the gate. I won't tell anyone if you don't. Um, nothing up here. This is kind of a chill little common area. Exterior breach. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like there's much of anything to get in there, huh? Ah. This is Fowles. Officer Fowles. Malia, I have an important request. It's sensitive, no. I need to know I can trust you with a Fuck. surveillance matter. Uh, yes, of course, sir. It's just that normally oh, I can't do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me, Malia. Yes, sir. I understand. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos. Where she goes. How she keeps Hell yeah, dude. visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Good. Send me a report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. So she was in the middle of snooping the pod when she died? There's no blood or anything. I wonder if she just hit her head or something. Got spookled. Oh, this is the band guy. This guy. Just a Neuromod hangover. Oh. Weird. Band girl. I can't believe you got modded for Alex's clown show at the Tulip. Are you kidding? I've always wanted to play an instrument, but never had the time. It's so... It's like I can see the sheet music in my head. I feel like I've been doing this since I was seven. Besides, you are going to be on stage with me, right? Only to catch you if you suddenly collapse. And only if you keep me from punching Alex if I drink too much. 
Yeah, he is kind of a fucking dick. The Yellow Tulip, join us for a private celebration of Trinestar's success. Alex Toast and Review, Crew Demonstration, Sky Braxton and Daniel Show. Yeah, so she's gonna, she was gonna do like a fucking music performance. I always forget what day it is. So I'm not sure how much of the stuff they managed to finish before everything went down. Hi, Mommy. Been having bad dreams since you left Dr. Preston. Said I should draw it and that it would help make them go away. Hope you like my picture and come home soon. I love you, Cory. Wait, is this like an actual child? Why are there actual children on this fucking mess of a space station? Uh, also, that kid had bad dreams of fucking Typhon. I wonder if... I wonder if they're more drawn to, like, neurally pliable people. Because there's the old man who is, like, having memory issues, and there's a child. Both people would be kind of susceptible, right? Rosella Swift. Soft rope. Here, animal snail. Snail? Snare. Nice. All these guys are so good at drawing their characters. Granger's Memories, from a journal, journal written by Haley Granger. Harley Granger. I should still be down there playing. My guys needed me and my shoulder just couldn't deliver. I couldn't deliver. Brought a lot of autographed gloves with me and passed them out like candy at Halloween, but it turns out a lot of these test tubers don't follow sports at all, much less know about my career, sure as it was. What are the chances Mr. U could set me up with the neuromods I'd need to put me back in the game? Hell, he could buy me a franchise and stock it with the greatest players that ever lived. If I got a neuromod, would it keep me playing? Or would it be me playing? The league would never let modded players in. But how would they know? Yeah, that's some ethical questions there. Ah! <laughs> Test tubers. Right, I think we turned this place upside down pretty much. Except the lockers. Ammo, nice. More batteries for the disruptor. Alright. Yeah, we're doing pretty good now. Hey, you guys still doing okay out here? Just gonna mosey on by. Oh, the golden gun is in here. I want to know what it is. My enemy's enemy enemy. Yeah, we've heard this one. Bullets. Yeah, so they were holding out, waiting for the golden gun on the bridge when the mimics got to the captain. So I wonder what was so special about it. Artemis golden pistol. Well, anything I can fucking. Yeah, that'll do. Is this better than my gun? Gold-plated trophy pistol, once belonging to the world four-time world champion sport shooter, Seleth Rain. The champion visited Talos I to capture a conic tome of his brain in the Neuromod division. During his visit, he was moved to prevent to present the pistol as a gift to Captain Jada Marks. Wait, so... Oh, so this has got similar stats to my pistol when it's unmodified. 
Well, my pistol is better in a lot of ways, but this one does more damage. So... I don't know. Do I need to hang on to this thing? I mean, that's a shit ton of fucking upgrade kits. And it's not suppressed. So, I don't know. Might just hold on to it, but unless we come into like a windfall of weapon upgrade kits, I think we're better off just using mine. It's only gonna go up to what, 17, 18? Oh, it's still silenced, okay. Well, that's good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there's the security chief's cabin. Whoa! Oh, we're in a we're in a kind of wet area, huh? Whoa! There's some more mind-controlled folks. <laughs> more people to put in time out, like glue. Let's poke around in here. Hans was like a head scientist guy, so he's gotta be your prototype. Okay. Uh, bro, your room is full of fucking hearts. Oh. I wonder if these are from volunteers. Because I feel like you, you don't just, like, have hearts, right? You don't just, like, have them lying around, right? Very tempted to just disassemble the golden gun. Greetings, Dr. Kelstrup. Unfortunately, we won't always see another case of canned... Or, unfortunately, we won't see another case of canned pears until the next supply shuttle arrives. As always, Elliot will mark them EDS. To Alex Yu from Hans Kelstrup. Deja Vu has set in again. Retracing steps is going to be a little harder this time. It seems that Mueller's staff was not properly recording data, so all the progress they made since the last department-wide removal is in jeopardy. We'll need to temper our expectations. Wiping the memories of the entire department is a tremendous setback, and I'm beginning to question the practice versus the results we've seen. We should revisit the staggered system we discussed last year. Get them scheduled, Alex. Yeah, if you just kind of, like, delete all your fucking dude's memories, uh, that's kind of going to limit the scientific breakthroughs you can make, I feel like. I don't think I can get in there without morph. Oh, who's this? Igwe. Orchestrated objective reduction. Consciousness originates from processes inside neurons. Consciousness is based on non-computable quantum processing. Okay. Normal ass room so far. The process doesn't hurt, not at all. Brandy Grace speaks happily, enthusiastically. Her smile is radiant. Her brise, her brise ite, <laughs> her brise ite. There is no hint of the paraplexus eating at her nerve endings. The Olympic medals lie in their glass cases, facing her like an audience. Yet I still had my love of skating, but the skill felt trapped inside my head. The mods, the neuromods, allowed that skill to be shared with others. A gift. It's an interesting angle. Can I 
chip sec do we get? Reactivator. Okay, just cool down. It's not bad. Leverage assist. Reduces the time it takes to pick up heavy objects. Well, uh, all right. Moonrock statue. Pog, let's just roll on over here. Will Mitchell. Oh, the view here sucks. Crew quarters aren't even in one of the good spots. I guess it's next to the Arbori. All right. Where's the fucking poltergeist? Where's the fucking poltergeist? There you are. All right, punk. Suck on that. It's a very effective introduction to a poltergeist. it for in here. Oop. Yeah, let's go. Let's see. Bop, 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 bop. Hey, fellas. Time out. Uh, okay. Oh, fuck. Well, <laughs> rip Ike Stewart. Oh, we've already got a full stack on EMP charges, huh? That's a good question, buddy. I truly, genuinely do not know if I can make it stop, other than, you know, killing ya. I can definitely do that. I'm very good at that. I got a gun and everything. It's uh, like a bunch of apples in here. Ow! Well... Oh, a treasure map. I'm trying to reach Abby, but she's not answering. Please... Don't... Come... Emma? Please... No! Oh, is she, like, in the process of getting mind controlled? If I get one more Neuromod, I'm getting another suit upgrade. I need the space, dude. I need the space. I need to be able to carry all these cookies. Hello? Oops. Oh. 
Well, I tried. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Let me just fucking eat my apples, eat my noodles. And that gives me room for the other stuff. Uh, here. Give me that so I can disassemble this. And I can take that back. Uh, banana. Cookies. Alright, that looks like everything from in here. I'm getting. Critically low on space. Same locker room, right? Yeah. Um. There we go. Oh, I guess this is an option as well. Oh. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, unconscious. I mean, they're probably going to die if they're unconscious, but, like... But killing the fucking... Killing the telepath managed to save them. What about the people in the lobby? Did that save the people in the lobby? No. Okay, there must be another telepath out here somewhere. Okay, um... Alright, we're gonna do a little bit of roleplay here. Which is also a bit of a science experiment. Sure. Ah, uh, yeah. She did not make it out. guys are going to be like, who took my banana peel? Who took my fucking baseball glove? Okay, so hear me out. They're unconscious, right? They're safe. What if... Oh, this is going to take for fucking ever. But what if we took them out of the gym... Put them in a room, lock the door, keep them safe. Come on, come on guys. Carefully, carefully. Because there's a manual override behind the door, so it won't be locking them in. There's pizza in here. They'll be fine. All right. You're safe now. Um, kind of wish that I had find the, found the telepath first before a whole series of heads had exploded, but... Sometimes that's just life. And hopefully nobody hit their head fatally on the fucking edge of that pool when they uh, abruptly collapse to the ground like a sack of potatoes. It's 
guys were all just hanging out at the pool. Just having a nice little pool day. Oh, it is. We've almost been going for four hours. So I'll probably, uh... Finish putting these guys away. I'll finish the rest of this gym wing, kind of this whole half of this area, and then we'll call it for the night. There we go. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Don't don't die to a physics glitch. Come on, buddy. I gotcha. I gotcha. Trust the morgue. Is there like a board up there? They do like competitive swimming here? Wild. All right, come on, buddy. Come on, pal. Come on, fellas. Let's go. Let's go. All right, these guys are all going to wake up together and be very confused. We'll lock them in there, keep them nice and safe from any of the other mind-controlled folks who are wandering about. But now, after uh, a decent amount of trial and error, we know that there's a way to unmind control them. Hopefully they won't have lasting psychological damage. But, uh, you know, at least they're not dead. At least they're not dead, and at least their heads are intact. Eight and a half feet deep, them's fucking rookie numbers. All right, anything up there? Over. All right, what if we just kind of... Oops. What if we just kind of... Okay. Okay. You're joshing me. You're having a laugh. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's awkward. It's never happened to me before. Let's just mosey on upstairs and see what we find. Hello. It's Morgan time. Uh, Harley Granger, Nermot Sales. Uh, yeah, that's the... That's the fucking baseball guy, right? Ooh, all right, you know what that means. Thank God. Email, personal training session. Emma, as you know, Morgan's availability is going to be extremely limited in the upcoming weeks. She'd like to schedule her personal training sessions tomorrow if possible. Could you possibly adjust the schedule to accommodate this window? Morgan be, would greatly appreciate it. The key code to the executive suite is 5834. That, uh, mildly sus, but I mean, we already know what happened to us. Okay, yeah, we've seen that. So this is the other guy. Neuromod enhanced yoga. 
Yo guys, an excellent way for those with the physical series of Neuromod enhancements to grow more in tune with their new capabilities. This is not only enriching, but provides measure of safety, preventing you from hurting yourself or others. This pose is a good starting place for testing your new extended limits, combining strength with the, uh, balance. Pose begins the basic handstand, and will end with your body completely inverted. All of your weight supported by three fingers on your right hand. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh right, last time we saw a treadmill, we couldn't throw objects on them. Because we couldn't pick shit up. Hell yeah. Wait, I should probably quick save just in case I fucking Gary's mod myself in here. Fucking nice. Bench press. Hey, wait. I just got an idea. These dumbbells are all just hunks of metal, right? Right? So what if we just put all of our metal weights in a corner? Just throw all of our heavy weights in a corner. And huck a recycling charge in there. That seems smart. These shoes suck anyway. Men's dress shoes. Blech. Get all these off of here, just so. Get everything nice and consolidated. Although it draws stuff in anyway, so that part shouldn't be much of a problem. All right, anything else? I could do towels too or something, but who cares? Just want the metal. Just give me the metal. Yeet! Oh, let me out! Eh, I got one. One mineral material. Come on, man. No running or horseplay. Return rates. Use a spotter. Don't drop the weights. Sanitize equipment. No food or beverages. No wet bathing suits or bare feet. Infection, open wounds, or diarrhea. Most of those sound like pretty basic gym rules. I guess this is just an overlook to fight the telepath. Well, I think that wraps up the gym. Anything else on this end of the fucking area? We check down there, we check down there. All right, front desk. Aw. Please help me, there's someone trying to enter my room. I have nowhere to hide, hurry. Jesus, okay. A basemented space. Seriously? My quarters have no view of space? No windows at all? What is the one thing that a visitor staying on a space station might enjoy? Surely you have better quarters for Argentino, pero... I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, the common area, even the hallway had a shitty view outside. It kind of sucks. Wait, are these all from the same guy? I don't know what passes for sparkling wine on board Talos, but I assure you the flat piss your concierge delivered does not qualify. I poured it into the toilet where it belongs. I want a replacement as soon as possible. Better yet would be a bottle of that Sardar bourbon I understand your CEO likes. And more glasses as well. The others are broken. Oh, new gym code. Oh, we already knew that. They didn't have the service docked from their pay. Wow, gym service is docked from your pay when you live on a space station? That's horse shit. Like how it's Argentino Pero does not like your sparkling water. Argentino Pero does not appreciate his living accommodations. Argentino Pero is going to die. 
probably had him on the fucking block list. Hey, 6174. Ooh! Oh. Rip. Three pack? This is kind of nice. Nice little cache here. Feed another upgrade to the shotgun. Um, we'll get recoil and then we'll do reload speed last. If I have 10 shots, the reload speed isn't a huge problem. Okay, uh, mind controlled folks are over there. That's where we came in, so the mind controlled folks have wandered. All right. We'll probably call it there. Wait, oh right, the surveillance report. I forgot about that. Hold on. First. I haven't seen most of these people. Friends, Harvey. Yeah, so we got the two. Uh, ah, yeah, we found Emma. Uh, Franz? I thought Franz was one of the guys that we moved. Oh well. Uh, Bernard. Okay, that's one of the guys we found and saved. Abby, dead. Uh, there's a few people still alive out here, although that's probably all mind controlled people. I have to be careful. Okay, um, but more importantly, let's see, area map. Yeah, give me that area map. Okay, sick. Yeah, there's the occasional room we couldn't get into. Okay, so we've got, we've done about half this place. We got the rec center, we got the cafeteria, we got the kitchen. Ooh, and then a whole upstairs area we haven't messed with. And a whole third floor. Jesus, okay. This area is going to take a bit. Stalin's pursuant to Alex Yu, I've compiled a report concerning Annalise Gallegos and Associates. Oh, she was the one who was going to be a whistleblower. In quotes, it's also a suspicious conversation between Will Mitchell and Quentin Purvis to be reviewed by Alex Yu. Quentin. I know, but if we... T t t I don't want to know. I'm doing this as a favor, that's all. Cargo container 3232. It's on the other side of Cargo Bay B, next to the utility tunnel. When I was head chef at the Space Institute, no one asked me to conceal food in a cargo container. Just go easy on the eel, alright? Trying to smuggle out some fancy eels? Okay, Dr. Annalise Gall Gallegos... Uh, known associates. Okay, subject left private quarters. Presumably to report for for shift psychotronic security. Return to private quarters. Reason unknown. Quentin Purvis. Quentin Purvis. Portable drive. Left private quarters. Walk the cafeteria. Will Mitchell. Okay. Abigail, I'm recording this time. You too, Emma. It's fine. Danielle's joining us. She'll cover us if we get into trouble. Oh, is this for the game? She said yes. We negotiated. I had to say yes to some things too. Ah. All right. I think. I think that's a wrap for today. Next time we'll go upstairs. We'll do the rest of crew quarters next time. Uh, and what day is it? It's Monday, right? No, it's Tuesday. Oh, wait, no, it was Monday. Sorry, it's after midnight. It is Tuesday now. All right, uh, next stream will probably be Wednesday. And uh, let me think, because I got to wake up kind of early on Thursday. But so it might be an early stream Wednesday. We'll see. Um, that probably ought to work, but I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter and everything. Here, let me wrap this for now, though real quick before I get ahead of myself. Pew. Quick.
to desktop. And a bump. All right. Me lose that. There we go. All right. How long do we go? Yeah, a little over four hours. It's pretty normal. But yeah. Um. Yeah. So like I said, next stream will probably be on Wednesday. Maybe a seven o'clock stream. Uh, that'll probably work. Like I said, if that doesn't work, I'll I'll put an update, and we might end up doing Thursday instead. But yeah. Um. That is all for tonight, but hope you guys enjoyed your stay. Hope you guys had a fun stream. And once again, thank you so, so much for joining us and hanging out and helping me get up to affiliate because that is genuinely super special to me. Um, I'm incredibly surprised that after, what, a month, month and a half, of streaming that we were able to accomplish this and i want to keep making cool stuff for you guys want to keep making cool stuff that lets you interact with stream want to keep making everything prettier nicer uh more fun to more fun to hang out with and just yeah make a nice comfy spot for everyone to come chill so yeah thank you so much for helping me do that and i'm looking forward to seeing what we can do together in the future so yeah uh I think that's all I got to say tonight. So thank you so much again. Have a wonderful night, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever, wherever you are. Eat some delicious food for me. And take care. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.